College will open new paths for you, is what my mom had always said. I took those words to heart, despite my usual cynicism. Even as my high school friends drifted away from me over the years, and the stresses of moving out and living alone mountain, I continued to believe in them. Then came today. The meeting with the advisor was never going to go well. Academic probation isn't a term thrown around in good circumstances. Even with all that, a 1.2 GPA was a surprise. Five whole credits. After cruising through school before college, it feels like a bad joke when I repeat his coldly delivered words in my head. My heart sinking, I finally close the door behind me. A chapter of my life closes with it. decent GPA and passed all my classes and managed full credits for them, I'd still end up short. He did try to give me some options, but... See? There you go! I don't know if they'll do any good, Mom. It's an intro art class and a creative writing class. He even said they're basically filler. It sounds like it's something you should try, don't you think? You could easily tackle either of those. I've never been good at that kind of stuff. You know that. You can only give your best shot. I think that's more than enough. You've been through harder trials in your life, and you've overcome those, and you're so much stronger for it. What this means is that there's hope.
I'll do my best. Sorry for putting you through this. Honey, you don't need to apologize. I know there's a lot going on. I know you're doing what you can. You always have me on your side. Your advisor wants you to succeed too. That's why he gave you this option. I'll see you at work in a couple of days. We can talk about this more there, okay? I know it's easier said than done, but try not to stress yourself out too much about all this. Maybe you can make yourself something to take your mind off things. It's nearly dinner time after all, so make something nice for yourself. Tomorrow's another day. Love you too. And from there, we will cover the Futurist Movement, which after its founding in Uh, yes. Caprice, is there something you need? Uh, just excited and ready to learn! Is there something you need? I... need you to stay quiet while I'm talking. That's okay with you. Yes, sir! Sorry, sir!
only talk. Uh, yeah, so... So, listen. I'm the president of the art club here on campus. Well, not the art club, but one of the art clubs. The better one. Forget about that other one. In fact, forget I mentioned it. There's only one art club, and it's mine. And, you see, we're looking for members. Any level of skill will do. The best way to learn art is to work alongside your peers. Uh, hey. So if you're looking for help, there's really no better way than to join our art club. We're all pretty much good artists who can definitely teach you anything you need to know. I can even offer you personal lessons. That's a generous offer from the club president, you know. Thank you. But I think I'll pass. I appreciate the offer, really, but I just don't think... I'm not asking you to join, just maybe come by sometime. Oh, I know! I'll set up a club meeting for you to scope out! I'll let the others know to expect you once we can decide on a date. No strings attached! I think you'd fit right in. Okay, sure. I'll give it some thought. Welcome to the Bell House. Party at one? The three, actually. My roommates should be in shortly. They're just wrapping up a conversation out in the car. Got it. Booth it is then. Right this way. Hey Millie, catch! without even having your name down yet? She got it right on her first go, at least. I'm not in the club yet, though. Just testing the waters. It's only a matter of time! Uh-huh. Anyway... Enjoy! Just speak up if you need anything else. It smells great. Thank you.
Hey, whatever your name was. Olive. Hi. Sure, let's go with that. Suppose this is just you asking for a refill? Maybe in a bit. Just figured you wanted to chat with you staring longingly at us like that. Sorry, that textbook was giving me a headache and there's not much else to look at in here. Study? Not at all, sorry to say. <laughs> I've actually got another class tomorrow as a backup plan, in case the art one doesn't work out. Oh, really? What kind of class, if you don't mind me asking? Huh? Uh, just intro to creative writing. Some small filler thing. What?! Well, today's just full of coincidences. I happen to be the leader of the writing club on campus. We have our first meeting of the semester tomorrow afternoon if you're interested. If the art club doesn't work out for you, I'd be more than happy to help however I can with your writing course. Wait, 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 wait. Olive, the writing class is going to be a real challenge. If we're thinking of the same one, Millie took it last semester and I swear I saw her writing eight page papers every other week. You're exaggerating. Besides, that textbook Olive was pouring over didn't look like much of a pleasant experience either. I can't argue that point. I can! I've had the same professor in another class. We'll hardly ever use the book. Either way, a little bit of studying and some doodling is a heck of a lot easier than what you went through. Says the woman spending days at a time stressing about inspiration and color composition. Lemon line. Thanks. Coming right up. Yeah, that's me. And you're... We shared a few classes back in high school. I don't blame you if you don't remember. I go by Darren now. Darren Baker. Ah, uh, I remember. Uh, don't worry. You're looking good. And you're looking the same as ever. Glad to see college hasn't changed you much. Uh, well, I think I might be overdue for a little change, honestly. Anyway, are you here for the riding club too? Yeah, that was the plan, at least. Something up? It's just more crowded than I was imagining it. Lots of noise and talking over each other. I poked my head in for a second and that was enough. Eesh. Yeah, I can't blame you. Well, 
want to check it out together? I haven't been looking forward to it much either, to be honest. But having a friend there would help. Uh, oh, uh, no pressure though. No, no, it's fine. Sounds good to me. Sure is convenient that you'd pick today to do this. It has to be today. There's hardly any time left to get all of this sorted. You couldn't even wait a couple hours? If you just signed the papers, we'd be out of here in 15 minutes, tops. Oh, what a coincidence. You knew I was coming. You heard Millie offer as much yesterday. That didn't necessarily mean show up. I thought for sure you wouldn't have bothered. Hey, you guys! This is Olive, the person I was telling you about. Oh, hi. I'm Allison. Nice to meet you. Caprice has told us a bunch about you already. Eileen. Yeah, good seeing you. We're a bit busy now, though. being two of you, though. On that note... Here's my signature as assurance that I'll finish filling out the form after the meeting if it makes you feel better. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to actually have a meeting today, so I would appreciate it if you hurried up your pillaging. Olive, but it's nice to see someone else joining us today as well. My name's Millie, nice to meet you. Darren. Hi. You've got quite the fan club, huh? all of that finally out of the way, it's time to begin the first writing club meeting of the semester. Welcome. This club's one of the oldest in the school, so we have a lot to live up to. Tanya introduced herself already. She's been helping me keep things moving for a while now. The talkative girl is Heather. typically this busy? Oh no, I'm so sorry about the bad first impression. Things are typically a lot... quieter. Don't let the size fool you though. What we lack in quantity, we make up for in quality. Here, look at this. The club can be 
a great source of inspiration and technical know-how, if you'll allow it. I filled up this entire notebook and a couple others just in my first semester here. And how many pages have you filled out recently? Plenty, thank you. The club's recent downsizing hasn't had any influence on that. Millie knows her stuff, I'll admit that. But there's only so much one person can do. Uh... All I'm saying is that the art club, the entire club, would be able to help you. Unlike the writing club, our little circle looks out for each other. Don't drag us into this. Too late for that. <sighs> Bold of you to hype your club up like that, given you didn't even bother to finish the paperwork to legitimize it in time for the fair. I got a set of keys for a room and a bunch of like-minded artists. Being recognized as official would just be a nice bonus. I'm pretty sure I have a pair of keys that you commandeered for yourself. Hey, whose side are you on here? Thank you for offering to share your space, by the way, Millie. We appreciate it. Even if Caprice won't say so. Come on, not you too. You're very welcome, Allison. Anyway, if you're all done chatting it up, we're gonna need you out of here soon. We were promised 15 minutes and you've already used up five of them. Yeah, yeah, we're going. Just give us a few minutes to finish grabbing everything. Wanna help us out, new kid? Huh? If you're being dragged into the group, you may as well start getting used to it sooner rather than later. What? No! I was gonna bring them to an actual club meeting! Show them the best we had to offer! I had plans! I also haven't really committed one way or another. Oh, I've heard that one before. Three times, actually. Jeez, what did I do to earn all this sass today? To be betrayed like this, time and time again? It's more than my poor heart can take. It's fine. It'll get them out of the room faster and we'll have time to catch up after you're done. Win-win, right? The original plan was to check out the writing club, so I'm gonna stick with that for now. Thanks for the offer, though. Well, can't say I didn't try. I really appreciate it. Uh, just making sure, you know I still haven't made up my mind yet, right? I just want to hear more for now. I know, don't worry. Now, where were we? Uh, could we talk about the club itself some more, maybe? You mentioned downsizing? Ah, right. That. 
Well, everyone has to move on eventually. It just so happens that last year was the right time for a lot of people. It's just part of the college experience. Well rehearsed and squeaky clean, all in a matter of seconds. You never feel to impress, Prez. As self-appointed club historian, I feel the need to point out that this great migration of yours only started after you took the reins, though. Thank you, Heather. No problem. As the last of the old guard, we have to look after each other, you know? Smaller club suits me perfectly, actually. I was a lot more anxious when I came in originally and saw so many of you in here. Yes, exactly! You won't find a better place to express yourself if you're looking for peace and quiet. Uh, but just because we're quiet doesn't mean we're an empty room. Tanya, can I borrow you for a minute? I want to give you two a proper introduction to Tanya. She's the most recent member, but she's already been a huge help. Millie Wu, you two over yet? I think she might be getting there. Good to hear. Still got some hang-ups? I'm just not sure the club has what I'm looking for, I guess. Well, let's see if we can address that. What are you looking for here? Uh, help with my writing class, assuming I stick with it. Yes, yes, I'm aware. Anything else? Is that all? Then you've got nothing to worry about. You couldn't ask for a better tutor than Millie here. What about you? What about me? I guess I was just hoping that I'd have more people around to bounce things off of than just the leader. Oh. Hmm. That kind of thing isn't really my strong suit. I don't know if calling on me for writing advice would be the best idea you've ever had. Told you though. If there's anyone who could single handedly drag you across the finish line, it's Millie here. Right? Well, I'd certainly try my best. So. I'll think about it. Thanks. Pretty quiet and low-key. Nothing that extreme. By quiet, you mean boring, right? Hey, now. Yep, it was...
was boring and terrible, the typical writing club MO. to give them the time of day. We'll get you through the semester easy peasy. Right, Allie? Uh, yeah, of course. Right again. The club is nothing more than a waste of space. Wh hey! Nobody asked you! What? We're agreeing, aren't we? a proper meeting. You'll come, right? We'll see. And all the ones after that? Well, I... Great! I'll see you then. I gotta take care of some stuff for the fair. Bye, Ellie! What about food? Why did you even come to our club when you were already playing house over with Mommy Caprice? Please don't call her that. Just keeping my options open. Allison. Uh, hi. Sorry about Caprice running off. No worries. She seemed busy anyway. Fair prep? Yeah. We're all a bit behind schedule. So we've been kind of scrambling. She's always so rude. Do you interact with the writing club much? Outside of yesterday, I mean. Every now and then. More lately with this fair stuff. Not like Heather is much of a club member, though. What exactly is the club fair about? I saw it advertised earlier last year, too. There's not much to it. A bunch of the school clubs set up in the gymnasium and try to recruit people. Mostly freshmen who haven't been poached yet. Millie offered to share her space, so we're sneaking in this year. If you have a way to get new people like that, why is Caprice so dead set on recruiting me? Caprice is really serious about the club, but you've probably noticed that already. Honestly, she's serious about everything she does. She wants to get every person possible. A dream of hers is to grow and expand the club beyond even the huge existing one. And what? To be honest with you, I prefer smaller groups. I'm fine with how things are. Nothing against you, though. You're free to join if you want. You'd love it, I'm sure. Everyone really is nice, and we have a lot of fun. Caprice is wonderful, too. I know she can be a little... overbearing at times, but she always brings so much energy. A little too much, maybe. Sometimes, sure. I get it. When I first met her, I thought she was pretty overbearing. I wouldn't really fault you for thinking that. She's good at what she does, though, right? Oh, absolutely. Everyone there is. I'm still learning, but they're always teaching me new things. But I guess what's happening is... Caprice wants us to be a legitimate club. A club that's official, real, whichever word you want to use. We aren't much of one right now. We barely nudged our way into the fair. Even then, 
we kind of cheated to get there. If I join, will that even change anything? I don't know. It'd take more than one person, probably. Still, we're going to do our best. You should do what's best for you, too. Thanks. Sorry for keeping you. I'll see you around. Whoa, hey, you need some help? The gymnasium, right? Smart. Come on, you've been drafted. So, how'd the meeting go yesterday? You didn't hear about it? Oh, I heard tons of things. But I'm interested in your perspective. Well, I'm not even entirely sure what happened. It felt like a sudden whirlwind. Yeah, sounds like them. Hey, uh, where are we taking all this? Over here. Can you get the rundown on how they're sharing a spot already? More or less. I remember them packing up a lot more than just a couple tablecloths and posters, though. The art club is off turning all that into brochures and other promo material for the two right now. This is all just bare-bones stuff. I'm surprised Millie trusts them enough to handle that. Millie gets along well enough with all of them. It won't be an issue. Could have fooled me. Things are just complicated right now is all. You saw how they were at the diner. Are you talking about their friendly small talk or them trying to poach me from each other? That's why I called it complicated. You're committed at this point, right? You're gonna be picking one or the other? Yeah, that's about as far as I've gotten in my thinking though. No particular feelings so far? Ugh, tons of feelings. Most of them dread. It all sort of cancels each other out. Hmm. Well, good luck. Wait, what's up? That was just Millie's stuff. Gotta head over to the art room now. Want me to come with you? I've got it covered, thanks. Looks like you're doing better than me these days.
really didn't need to cook for me. At least let me help. I was going to cook lunch for myself anyway. Whether it's for one or two people, doesn't make that much difference. This is better than having to cook for yourself. You deserve better than work food every other day anyway. Looks as good as it smells. Thanks. So, how is work? <sighs> and she's yelling at me. Her baby is crying, and her other kid, oh, I'm telling you, they had the most embarrassed look. But what can I do? Except apologize. And of course, she didn't even tip. Sorry I wasn't there to help you deal with that. you weren't there. Speaking of which, how's your day off been so far? Oh, boring. Stressful. What did you do? I sat around here, mostly just a lot of thinking. Ollie, it's your day off. At least take some time for yourself. With what's been going on... Still turn up about your classes, huh? Yeah, guess so. And things just keep getting more complicated. What do you mean? to do, Mom. I know it's tough, but look at it this way. Even if they're fighting, the club leaders have been nothing but nice to you, right? Sure. Maybe a bit too nice. I just don't know how things will go. My whole college career hinges on this. You're more resilient than you give yourself credit for. I'm sure you'll pull through. Everyone wants you to do well. I know you won't regret your choice. Whatever it is. That's easy to say. It's true, though. You're wasting your day off stressing over it. Take the rest of the day for yourself. Relax. Do something you enjoy. Don't make it another day of stress. That way you'll be going to this fair with a clearer head. My Ollie. Now, I brought a slice for each of us. Which one do you want? I'll let you pick first. Hey. Hi. Done with fair prep? Yep. I helped them finish setting their tables up this morning. So I've got the rest of the day off till the car ride home. It's bound to be an awkward time after the fair today. Caprice doesn't ride with us much nowadays. Dinner the other day was just an exception to the rule. Are things okay? 
between them, I mean. They've just been having some personal stuff going on for a while, and things are uh, volatile. Nothing you need to worry about. Probably. Probably. Would it make you feel any better if I said, definitely? Fair enough. This stressing you out that much? You don't know the half of it. The situation on my end is pretty dire. You'll be fine. I promise. I mean it this time. How do you figure? If you're just worried about your grades or whatever, they'll both make sure you get to where you need to be. They've never let me down anyway. Even if that's true, being stuck in the middle of those two like this just makes the entire thing feel more overwhelming than it probably needs to be, you know? Yeah, well, join the club. Get it? Yeah, I got it. Get your drink and get out there. Don't let me keep you. Good luck. All right. Nice talking to you. Yep. What's happening here? Let me hear it. If I may, the writing club's a great working environment, and you could get a lot more done in a peaceful workplace than a party. And being a real club, we have actual resources and didn't have to rely on sneaking into the club fair to even be here. Shows how much you know. I actually did the paperwork. And yet here you are, sharing my allocated space. I don't need to explain anything. Olive's seen how great we are already. Have you made your decision? Let's hear it! The best shot I've got is with Millie. Thank you, Olive. Pleased to have you aboard. Your first club meeting will be on Thursday evening, then. I'm sure you know the place. Have fun being bored with boring people. If you want to switch, the door is always open. I'll keep that in mind.
the art club was that bad, huh? Caprice must have left a pretty horrible impression for you to end up here. What? No, it's not that. This just seemed like a more... legitimate club. At the time. What is it we're actually meant to do? Beyond writing, that is. Show up every Tuesday and Thursday. So long as we have an extra warm body in the room, the club doesn't get killed off. Welcome to another meeting, members new and old. I'll get right into it, since I know everyone's busy. Everyone will do some writing today on a topic they'll choose. You can finish your stories off after the meeting if you don't find the time today. At the next meeting, we'll share our work with each other. That'll help us all gauge where we're at in our writing skills and what we'd like to focus on going forward. Question, Miss Clark? How long does the story have to be? Only as long as you want. This isn't classwork. Lucky us. If you need any help, don't hesitate to ask. I don't know where to even start, to be honest. I haven't read a book on my own time since fifth grade. I'm better at more logical subjects. The arts aren't really my thing. The world isn't so neat that everything can be divided up into logical or creative sorts. A blank page is always a writer's worst enemy. But this is a writing club, not a workshop. We can work through it together. Tell me, where do you think a story should start? The... beginning? Wrong. A story starts with a plan. A story without a plan is just a meandering series of sentences. So, let's start at the real beginning. The highest layer of writing a story. An idea. Someone give me a one-sentence idea for a story. No details at all, just the elevator pitch. A knight saves a princess from a castle. Excellent. That's a high-level story concept. Ideas are quick and easy to come up with, but finding one you're excited about is the most important part. Now, down to the next layer. What three things should any story have? Introduction, conflict, resolution. Thank you, Heather. Now, Tanya's story about the knight and the princess needs an introduction, a conflict, and a resolution. Darren, could you fill that out for us? Uh, I guess it'd be the knight and the princess's situation is set up for the introduction. The conflict is the idea itself. The knight has to save the princess. Then, I guess the resolution is for the princess and knight to get married and live happily ever after? Almost there, but the conflict needs to be an obstacle to reaching the conclusion. Why does the princess need saving? What's in the way of the two being together? Usually, it'd be something like a dragon has her locked up. Good, but now this story feels a little too formulaic. How about for the assignment this week, you all write the story of the princess and the knight with your very own twist. Something to make the story uniquely yours. There's one last layer before we start writing in earnest. We have our outline, but now we need to attack the structure. How do you approach a big project? We need to take our story outline and break it up further into chapters. If you like TV shows, think of them as episodes, or maybe as different scenes from a play. How about... three chapters, or just paragraphs for a short story, between each of the introduction, conflict, and resolution. You can change that as you go if things don't feel right, but that gives us a framework to hang our story on. There, does that look like something you can write? I can kind of see it in my head now. Yeah, 
This whole process doesn't feel very creative, though. I mean, carefully dissecting a story into layers and components feels a bit clinical. So clinical that you might say it's almost logical? There's no clear line between creativity and logic. You need both to write, or make any sort of art. To paint a person, I imagine you need to understand anatomy. To write a story, you need to understand structure and how readers will think. Don't get hooked up on being as imaginative and original as you can. Just practice. Write badly. After a while, you'll come to intuitively understand why some things work and others don't. Like a driver slowly learns to work a car without thinking about how they're doing it. And when you're stuck, you can always talk it out. Giving each other feedback is the most important, and fun, part of writing. So take some time to plan it out, think of your knight and princess, and ask around if you're stuck. We can all share our stories next Tuesday. Oh, before you go. Yes? Phone. I just wanted to take down your number and put in contacts for the others. Why do you have everyone's numbers anyway? Don't you meet twice a week? Ah, but that's not all we do. To welcome in our new members, I'm announcing the first group outing for the Reorganized Writing Club. Hard at work, Olive. Tanya, please. I don't know this woman, I swear. Come on, I'm just having a bit of fun. I see you two are full of energy this morning. Meanwhile, you're doing your best impression of a responsible adult. Just an impression, though. I want to say living alone is a hassle due to chores like this piling up, but honestly... I appreciate the mundaneness of it. You don't have a roommate around to help? Nah, mom pops over now and again, but it's mostly just me, myself, and I. The car yours, Millie? Yep, my pride and joy. I was helping my dad restore it since before I could even drive. Gets quite a workout too, fearing your roommates around. I'm telling you, you should make the bums get their own licenses. It's not a problem, really. Besides, Caprice started taking the trolley. You have a nice place. The graffiti adds to the aesthetic, yeah. I mean it, compared to some of the places students live. How are the neighbors? 
The old ones had a dog that loved waking up the complex with this barking every night. They moved out in the last couple months though, thankfully. Couldn't tell you anything about the new ones. So, are we doing this thing? Should be about time we headed off. Sure. Just let me put this away. Thanks again. Not at all. It's the least I can do after taking your free time for something like this. The outlets are probably having clearances before bringing out the winter clothes. You think Heather and Darren are stuck in traffic? It was pretty blocked up on the way in. But where's the signing at anyway? The bookstore is a bit of a hike up the road from here, but this is probably the closest parking spot we're going to get. The forecast called for a chance of rain today. I hope they get here soon. Like such an eager beaver, too. Did he say why? I'll just be a minute. I'm going to give Heather a call. Well, she's not coming either. Should we head out on our own then? Maybe another time. I won't drag you two in there. It's not much of a club outing if half the club isn't here. <clears throat> it's not even ten. Adorable. Should have. Sure, why not? I mean, I wasn't super optimistic about today anyway, if I'm being honest. No point in getting too worked up about it. This sounds as good a backup plan as any. Should I drop you back off at your apartment, or will you be joining us? No pressure. Not. I, I just drink it for the flavor. So you two are regulars. Regulars makes it sound like we come here all the time. surprised about the attendance today. This may surprise you, but Heather isn't... consistent. You don't say. And 
Well, I, I know you're friends, so please don't take this the wrong way, but Darren's a new recruit. I don't have much of a read on him yet. I think you're really overestimating how close we are. Oh, really? When you walked in together, I just assumed you invited a tag-along. Nope. We talked a bit and shared a few classes in high school, but that's as far as it ever went, really. Just a really weird coincidence. Ugh, those two are a pain in the ass. Tanya! Well, it's not like I'm innocent either. Go on. I'm just here because I need the help to pass my English course. I don't have a creative bone in my body. Huh? Is that all it is? <laughs> you sound disappointed. I thought it was gonna be something saucier. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. There's not a saucy bone in my body either. Oh, well, for what it's worth, I appreciate you coming out today anyway. I'd appreciate you not trying to get her driver drunk before noon. Sure. What harm could one more round do? What's all this? Editor's notes. Do you have them in English? Concentration I wanted to see. I knew you'd get into this. What's on your mind? Nothing you want to hear. Try me. That these glasses are giving me a headache. I promise you contacts are worse, but you do what you gotta do to maintain appearances. Now, how about we get back on track? Almost everything here is covered in corrections and fixes. Actually, I think you've written more than I did in the first place. I appreciate the effort you're putting in, but man, it's hard to stay optimistic about this. What chance do you think I have here, honestly? Are you going to do a second draft with all the notes? Well, sure. I won't be starting from scratch, so this should be doable by next week's meeting. Then you'll be fine. Keeping a notebook handy means I can quickly jot down my thoughts when inspiration strikes. You should try it. I think it'd really help you. Don't know how much use I get out of a notebook filled with nothing but bad ideas. Bad 
Bad ideas are fine. Most of my notebook is junk I never end up using. But the few diamonds in the rough, sometimes even just a few words, can be enough to build on. Maybe it'll help you get into a creative mindset, too. So, what are you trying to say with all this? Think of it like art. Instead of trying to make a gallery-worthy portrait off the bat, you're sketching out rough ideas to try different concepts from different angles. You don't even have to show anyone. Just try describing an interesting person. Plot out a fun scene in a movie, or emulate an interesting passage you saw in a book. I think that's where you're getting tripped up, trying to write full stories right from the start without being comfortable with the act of writing itself. Without a solid foundation, the whole building falls apart. And how long am I gonna be doing these sketches? As long as you're writing, of course. It's a critical part of the process, no matter how experienced you are. Hey, Melly? Yes? I know I'm at least partially to blame, and I really appreciate it, but... How do you find so much energy to devote to this? Writing in general, I mean. Why write, huh? I suppose that I could say something corny, like creativity brings out the best in people, or something. Spin some tale about the power of the great author's writings, opening one's mind, and taking us on wild adventures. I'm waiting for the bite. I'm getting there. My earliest memories are of my mother reading to me. We read a lot together, even as I grew up. Maybe it's a little selfish, but I wanted to hold on to that feeling. Maybe even share that sense of companionship with others. Making our own personal connections through reading and writing together. That's what this club is supposed to be. A place for individuals to get together and offer each other glimpses into themselves to maybe find a speck of common interest to nurture and grow. Or, well, that's what I thought. it didn't quite work out that way. Well, no reason why it still can't be. No, of course. Uh, thanks for the reminder. For what it's worth? I'm glad you managed to find a hobby that means so much to you. We all have our vices.
Where are you off to? Much as I'd love to stay and talk more, I also like being able to pay rent, so I'm off to the diner for the evening shift. See you tomorrow, Millie. Oh, and sorry about the grumbling. I just haven't found my footing yet. I'll have a proper look over your notes when I get home and start working on a second draft. It's no problem. Make sure you buy a notebook sometime. A proper one. Spoil yourself. I'm sure it'll help. Death. Death comes for me. Oh, don't be so dramatic. It was a rough day, but you got through. I'm going to sleep forever when I get home. I don't know about forever, but you've earned yourself a good rest. that you joined a new club, right? Yeah, the writing club. It's a bit weird, but at least it'll help me get the credits I need. A bit weird? They show up whenever they feel like it and barely even pretend to work while they're around. The supervising professor doesn't bother attending at all, all while the leader is... Well, she tries her hardest. I wish I had an ounce of the passion she has, whether for writing or anything else. And make this a lot easier. Sounds like she's an admirable person. She is. That's what bugs me. Oh, you think she's being taken advantage of? Yeah. Everyone shows up, but doesn't bother putting in any effort. She must know that, but she just smiles through it. She'd be happy to see you care so much. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Either way, it sounds to me like the club being all on the same page would help the both of you out quite a bit. Do you think I should be doing something about it? 
That's for you to figure out. You know best. All I'm saying is that sometimes doing things we're not used to is a good thing. Life would be awfully boring if we all stayed the same our whole lives, right? Yeah, I guess. Oh, I almost forgot. If you need any time off work for club things, just tell me. I'm sure I can pull some strings. baking club or something. Says the woman in her mechanic jumpsuit. Cooking and baking is a bit of a hobby, so I just figured I'd bring some stuff in as all. Well, no complaints here. Take what you like. I didn't bring these in for show and tell. Just have them while you're writing or whatever. I hope I don't sound ungrateful for asking, but what's the occasion? Well, you know... Uh... The club's had a rough start this semester. I figured something like this might improve the mood a bit and get people motivated is all. Thank you.
Billy. Know where Heather might be? She keeps her business to herself, but I've heard her slip about her media studies and journalism courses before. That's something to go on, at least. Thanks. Don't know why anyone would give someone like her the time of day, though. Well, it's just... I've been around for a few weeks now, but I think I can count the number of times I've seen her around on one hand. Consider yourself lucky. Tanya, please. Either way, I was just curious. Thanks for the heads up. There's quite a lot of food here. Why'd you make so many different flavors? Didn't know what you guys would like. Besides, muffins are easy because you can throw in whatever's handy for flavoring. Chocolate chips, cocoa, fruits, that sort of thing. The others seem to like them too. It's good to see everyone chatting like this. I have to admit, it's different than when you do it for a job. After a while, you forget how nice it is to watch people enjoy the food you've made for them, and having a good time while eating together. So, the big question. Who gets the rest? I can make more anytime. You guys decide between yourselves. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors? Such is life. <sighs> See you guys later. I'm alright to clean up by myself. You can go if you want. Thanks. Uh, sorry for turning the meeting into a... Uh, well... This. You hardly need to apologize. It's nice to see everyone enjoying themselves in the club. I really appreciate this, Olive. You're only saying that because you ended up with all the leftovers. Oh, hey. What's up? Just saying hi. What are you listening to? good for tuning things out at least. What do you think about when you're alone in those headphones? Stuff. This and that. So, I hear you're in the writing club now. Apparently so. Yeah, apparently. Well, now that you're officially part of this, try not to worry much about the arguments between those two. If either of them give you any trouble, just give me a yell. It's not really a big deal. Sometimes people just don't get along. I assume you're not following us home? Sorry? Considering you stopped me in front of Millie's car. Sorry, no, uh, just on my way to pick up my bike. Here I was, thinking I'd picked up a stray cat. See you later. Hope the club works out for you. This is the end for me.
analyze even mean? If he'd said critique, at least I could just complain. Oh, is that grumbling I hear? Ah. I see you have your work cut out for you already, huh? My torture, you mean? Mm-hmm. Luckily for you, I'm here to rescue you. Notebooks? Not just any notebooks. Take a look. from the semester. I took that class already, remember? Don't get me wrong, I wouldn't bother being so meticulous if it was anything but writing. But since I was running the club, I really wanted them to stand the test of time. I do want them back. pretty front-heavy on essay work. You can use them as reference if you ever feel lost or need inspiration. I... I don't know what to say. Just... obviously... Thank you. Really. I owe you. Please, it's fine. something for me again, that may be a fair trade. I've been daydreaming about those muffins. If I pass this next round of papers, I'll make you a full course meal. It's a deal. You better not fail on purpose to weasel out of it. Well, I'm off. Junebug needs an oil change. I'll tell your mom you're in good hands. Sure, take it away. You know my mom? You look like her. And when I came in, she couldn't stop boasting about how proud she is of her kids sitting in the back working non-stop on their college papers. dramatic. You should feel lucky to have such a doting mom. Well, it's more about how openly she'll air out my struggles to strangers. But yeah. Hello, who is it? It's just me. Good afternoon, Olive. G come right in. It's 
nice. Well, aside from... We're not as tidy as we could be. It's not that unusual, I guess. I'll clean up before getting started. I brought some stock and rice, so I should be able to work with whatever else is here. Thank you so much. If I have one more pack of noodles, it might be the end of me. Before you start, at least let me show you around. Sure, lead the way. And this is my bedroom. It's a bit cramped, but you get used to it. Curiosity got the better of me. I have to admit, though, child psych is a pretty neat genre. Ah, uh, looks like I've been found out. I want to write children's books. A lot of people think it's easy, but there's actually a lot of thought behind them. Huh. When you said you liked writing, I assumed that meant you wanted to be a novelist or something. I wouldn't mind trying my hand at it, but children's books are where my heart is. To see a parent reading my books to their child, and seeing their faces light up- Ah, sorry, I'm rambling. <laughs> to see a parent reading my books to their child, and seeing their faces light up as they learn about the world? It might not be the most glamorous or well-paying career, but I wouldn't care if I knew I'd achieved that. Ah, sorry, I'm rambling. <laughs> we should get started on lunch, shouldn't we? Some weirdo's broken in and is doing our dishes. Let them finish before calling the cops. Okay. Hi, Ailey. Has Millie really stuck you on dishwashing duty? Technically, I was here to make lunch. But there's no point in making food if there's nothing to put it on. I'd apologize for the mess, but I assume Millie's beat me to the punch already. Is it always like this? We just scavenge whatever's mostly clean till we run out of plates. It's worked out fine for two years now. Caprice lives here too, right? Am I cooking for three or four? She's visiting her mom, so it's three today. It is, then. Any allergies? I'm allergic to greens. Thanks again for that. That was amazing compared to what we usually have. Eh, could have been spicier. I'll leave the recipe. You can cook some up yourself, that's exactly how you like it. First time in a while I've cooked a meal for people other than myself, so I'm glad it worked out alright. Isn't that expensive? Living alone and all? I've always been... what's the best word for it? Cheap? Frugal? Let's go with frugal. Only needing to cook for myself saves a lot of time. Plus, I get leftover vegetables and stuff from work that are about to expire and can't be used. Ah, I do something similar. I save a bit by sometimes visiting bakeries just before they close for the day. They'll usually throw extra food in the bag for you that probably won't sell in time. 
Do you guys actually cook much? I can cook the basics. The very basics. Same. Rice and pasta are easy enough to throw in a pot. And Caprice? Caprice is banned from cooking. Ever since the egg incident, yes. What's up? It's Tanya. Is that bad? She said she'd get some of her friends in her machinist class to sign for Darren and Heather. Bad news? What do you think? Welcome to the writing club, I guess. <clears throat> I keep this bottle hidden away in the back for special occasions. I guess they don't all need to be positive ones. Either of you interested in a glass? When'd you get that? Oh, well, you know. I'll pass. I've got a shift tonight, so I better not either. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's more than fair. On that note, I better start making my way home to prepare. Thanks for having me. Thank you for the meal. You're a lifesaver. Really. No problem. I wouldn't mind doing it again sometime. Oh, we, we couldn't. Sounds like a plan. Looking forward to it. Haley. Interesting taste. If you're going to bother me anyway, sit down and watch. Not really the kind of thing I'd expect you'd be into. Shh. You came just in time for the best part. some committee of suits looking at statistics and focus groups. This is a director's vision, right there on the screen. What brings you around to this corner of the campus? 
You in the habit of poking your head into any unlocked room you come across? Not at all. It's, well, more like... You're doing such a stellar job pleading your case here, Apricot. Olive. So, what's your deal anyway? What do you mean? Don't play dumb. Why is a well-adjusted, sensible person like you in some dead-end club like Millie's? You make it sound like the writing club's on life support. Isn't it? I could ask you the same thing. I have my reasons, just as I'm sure you have yours. Perhaps our wonderful club leader has won you over. She's nice, but I'm just there because I need the help to pass my writing classes. No wonder she acts like your mom. You're the perfect little student for her to fuss over. You really don't like Millie, do you? Who do you think was the first person in the writing club? Of <laughs> those still around, anyway. Millie, if I had to guess. That's what you'd think, right? It was actually me. Aren't you a year behind her, though? I took a gap year. Little did I know the club would implode the moment I left. It was a real club back then. I knew everyone there, got on with them just fine. Not that I particularly liked writing, but the people there made it worth it. And... it evaporated by the time you came back? Just a shriveled husk. Went from a couple dozen people to three. Even that's being generous. Not all grease monkeys only there to keep the headcount above water. something about needing bodies for the club back when Darren and I joined that's the first I've heard about any rule like that there's nothing official from the college admin about when a club gets shut down what is a rule is that every club has to have a supervisor and an allocated budget and that's just what keeps a club going and besides the writing club doesn't even have a supervisor I didn't see one in the art club either the art club's nothing but a group of freaks who somehow got a set of keys to hijack a room. As for the writing club, well, you ever see that old raisin of a man around campus? Eyebrows like a double as bird nests? Hard to miss if you know him. He's one of my gen ed professors. Opinions? I usually like my teachers just fine, but he should have retired years ago. For some reason, he couldn't. Now he takes it out on everyone around him. Got it in one. Never met a student who liked him. Not even a goody two-shoes like you. Unfortunately for him, he got saddled with being the supervisor of the writing club. Now, what do you think happens when a club with the whole three people has a supervisor who doesn't want the job? Uh, they dump it, I guess? If the member count is that big of an issue, how is it still around in that case? Wait, why do you know so much about club politics anyway? I remember checking up on clubs before, and none of this is written on the school site or brochures. Same answer to both. I caught wind that the crotchety old fossil was going to get us shut down, so I persuaded him to leave it alone. How'd you do that? Zeroed out the budget, and said he could keep sitting on his ass while the club managed itself. I feel like I should be asking why. 
That really doesn't matter. You should be thanking me for keeping your lifeline afloat for this long instead. Mr. Trolley? Something like that. Your place from here. Ah, uh, not too far. Close enough to bike at least. Sounds good. Huh? I can handle biking like this. You can visit if you want, but I have work in a couple hours. That's fine. coming, so it's a bit shabby. Don't get many visitors, really. I was actually thinking how clean everything is. That old thing still work? Who knows? You can try if you want. I don't get much use out of it. So, anything on your mind? Just tired. Not with school or anything, just... those two. Are things really that bad? I was about to go home on the trolley, but when the doors opened, I just... Maybe I should just live alone like you. Nice and quiet here. You don't sound super convincing. You got me. I guess I just forgot how much I missed having a normal life with those two till you came around. Me? You coming over for lunch the other day was the first time in forever that apartment felt... ordinary. It's rare to see Millie that open and talkative at home. It was nice. And then Caprice came home and got in Millie's face about the wine she left on the counter. Sorry for making this weird. You're good. You should have seen them before all this. He barely recognized them. That's 
The impression I get, yeah. What's this? A photo from about a year back, with Millie and Caprice. I've held on to it ever since. It was their first college party together. I wasn't actually there, but they both lit right up while telling me about it. They told me all about the new friends they were making, the art club that Caprice made, how Millie was going to lead the big writing club soon and do all sorts of stuff with them. They had everything lined up for the future and were excited to get to it. It was easy to get caught up with their energy at the time. I guess it didn't really turn out like that. Sorry again. I didn't mean to come over here and dump this all on you. No, oh, really, it's fine. I can't even begin to imagine what things must be like at your place nowadays. Surprised someone like you would be friends with two people who are so outgoing. Not that I mean that in a bad way, I just... I get what you mean. We met in high school. Well, more like they found me during high school. You make it sound like they picked up a stray cat. That's basically how it went. The two of them were practically inseparable. Picked up a new friend to share. Back when they were so gung-ho about their clubs, part of me was happy that they'd found friends who could keep up with them, who wouldn't be holding them back. You and me might be in the same boat. I really admire Millie's passion, but I get tired just thinking about keeping pace with her sometimes. Thanks for letting me come over. I'd better let you get to work. Sure. You gonna be okay getting back? Yeah, the walk could be worse. I could do with the exercise anyway. That's not what I meant. It'll be fine. I just needed a break. Oh, an olive. Yeah? Thanks again for coming over the other day. No problem. Hopefully we can get Caprice around next time. Yeah, hopefully. Catch you. Yeah, catch you. All the times for the truck to be dead. I was gonna drive past the burger place on the way home, too. The place with the giant spinny hamburger on the roof. With chipped paint all over the place? That's the one! I feel like you could do a lot better for yourself. It's cheap as dirt, though. Nope, not good enough, sorry. Can't forgive any competition to our diner. Also, we have daily specials that run pretty cheap. It's good that you managed to find work for yourself. 
The job market isn't easy these days. You're not hiring, are you? Do you actually want to work customer service? <sighs> Point taken. Begrudgingly. Ugh. I'm gonna be stuck tracking mud into the apartment. Not to mention all the extra laundry I have to make time for now. Rain's no big deal. It'll help the farmers out, given how dry it's been lately. Something wrong? My laundry? Is outside. In the rain. Oh, screw this! Wait, I, I can give you a lift in... My car. I'm trying. Wait, how did you get to school today? Bike, as always. Can I interest you in a ride? Thanks again. I was dreading trying to get home in all this. Considering I saw you two moping about at the entrance, it would have been mean to just leave you there. Uh, Millie? The doors are locked. Tell me, what's on your mind? Right now? Whether my body will ever be found. One more try, Olive. Is this about the club? Getting warmer. Uh, I've been asking around, I guess, about the state of things. And I may have been avoiding bringing it up with you. That wasn't so hard, was it? How did you end up hearing about this? People will tell you all sorts of things beyond what they're asked. I just struck up a conversation with them about you. You'll be pleased to know they're all quite opinionated on the subject. Look, I'm sorry for not talking to you directly, but I only avoided you because the club... ...is on its last legs? That's one way of putting it, yeah. I might try to be optimistic, but that doesn't mean I'm blind. You don't need to tiptoe around me like I'm a child. One thing still escapes me, though. Why bother in the first place? It's... entirely selfish, really. I was worried that if it fell apart... You wouldn't have a reason to tutor me anymore. I'm sorry. I have a lot riding on this. Did I say something wrong? I've never seen that in a person before. So much effort put into convincing yourself you're not a good person. I promise to help you, with or without the writing club. Please don't call it selfish. Next time, just ask. Sorry for putting you through this. I don't often get the chance to talk with you alone these days. You're not mad at me? Why would I be mad at you? All I wanted to know was what's going on. 
To be honest, I was a little worried you were thinking of quitting, too. I wasn't... Sorry, lesson learned. I'll keep you in the loop with this sort of thing. In future. See you tomorrow, Millie. Oh, and next time you drive me somewhere, could you keep the doors unlocked? you guys a bit more chilled out. Everyone around school's way too wound up about exams. the things to stress about. Exams seem perfectly acceptable. In fact, I think you should be worrying about them a little more. Come on, you know I'll be fine. There's still a month left anyway. Hey, what's with that face? You too, Olive. I expect it from Tanya, but I'm surprised to see how mellow you're being about them too, Olive. Once you make yourself busy enough, you don't have any time left to panic. That's my coping method anyway. You sure you're okay balancing work, chores, and exams? Do I have a choice? Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. <sighs> anyway, you should be focusing on your own well-being instead of taking on their stress as well. Unless... You're trying to distract yourself from your worries by worrying about someone else? It's nothing like that. What are you even talking about? Even though I've said this a few times now, I do appreciate the effort you're putting in for me. You'd better pass your exams, you know. I'd look really silly if I did all this, only to have you flunk out on me. Oh, well, I was considering failing, but since you're so insistent... Ugh, come on! Do we really need to talk about school while we're out drinking? There's not much else for me to talk about right now. I should get a hobby after all this is over. I'd say cooking counts. <laughs> Barely. I wish I could be as passionate about that as you are with your writing. I'm with you on that. You've stuck with it for a while, haven't you? I think everyone needs something to cherish. It doesn't
doesn't need to be another person. A hobby, a cause, a life's work. It doesn't need to be grand, just something to give yourself over to. Writing, reading, a club ended up being that for me. Without that, I think someone is like an empty glass. While it could be filled by others, it's nothing when by itself. You better keep your own glass full, eh? to get herself that drunk. You're not exactly sober yourself. Could you please at least try to hang on? Wasted. Sure you're good to get back home afterwards? It's not that far. I'm over the worst of it anyway. Thanks for giving her a place to crash. It's nothing new. My place is close enough to the bar that she stayed the night more than once. She gets the couch, though. I'm not that nice of a host. Besides, we hang out at my place all the time. She's all right, company.
can see you from the window. Just leave your bike beside the stairs and head on up. Didn't expect to see you here. Thought you'd be off to school like a good little student. Figured I'd check in and see how things were after leaving Millie with you yesterday. See for yourself. Hey, Millie! You've got a visitor! Olive. <clears throat> hello, hello there. That's quite the hangover. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, don't worry, I've, I've dealt with worse. I'm gonna head to school for some studying. I can pick you up some food or something on the way back if you want to stay here. I'll come along, um, just, just let me get my shoes on. Yeah, uh, don't tell me you're going to school like that. Thanks again for the invite yesterday. It was nice to forget about everything for a night. You do know who suggested that you hang at the bar with us, right? to head out? Sure, let's go. You okay walking? Yeah, a walk in the cold sounds good right now, actually. Take care, you two. What's your business on campus today, anyway? Nothing major. I'm just here to return some books to the library. Tanya offered to come, but I told her I was fine. Something wrong? Oh, everything's fine. Completely fine. Let me lock up my bike and we can head over to the library.
It's good you have a friend who lives downtown to pick you up. <laughs> I had to ask my mom to pick me up the first time I went out drinking. Sort of put me off from doing it again. Not your dad? Dad wasn't really in the picture. He left when I was still pretty little. Uh, sorry, I, I really should have been more careful about that. No, no, it's fine. Hasn't been a big deal in forever, really. Funny how things end up, huh? Starting down this road because of stress and anxiety. Only to wind up spending the night drinking with you like nothing was ever wrong to begin with. You say that like it's a bad thing. Nah. The club might have its problems, but... This is fun. Things might actually turn out all right. I guess this is a long-winded way of saying thanks. For everything you've done for me. You took an opportunity and it worked out for you. You should be thinking better of yourself, Olive. But thanks. I'm sure you'll get through the exams, even if I have to drag you over the line. I'm just gonna grab another couple books I wanted to borrow. It won't be a moment. Oh, hey, are, are you okay? Yeah, uh, sorry, I... I don't even know what I was, uh, I mean... Oof, what a morning, huh? I'm sorry, I guess I'm just not all there yet. Yeah, uh, no, I, I get you. I, I'm sorry, too. I wasn't thinking. Wanna just agree that this never happened? Sounds good to me.
It's good to see all of you this morning. Let's get started. I'm sure everyone's going to do fine, but extra preparation never hurt anyone. I know Olive is looking for some general tutoring this morning. What does everyone else need help with? Well, I appreciate everyone checking in. Don't let me keep you if you don't need anything. I just wanted to make an open offer. Actually, I... And here I thought you were going to spice things up when you suggested an off-hours meeting. Fool me once, I guess. So sick of you! There's gotta be better entertainment out there than showing up only to make people feel like crap. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you raise your hand earlier either. Did you need some help? I'd love to be your study buddy. I'd rather choke. I'm here because I'm supporting my friend. Where did all yours go again? Hey, you two... support her by causing a scene like this that fearless leader of yours is looking pretty distressed don't you think don't you pin this on me get real you must be more delusional than millie if you really think you're helping anything do you two mind If you don't need the help, that's fine. But I do. We don't really have the time to get distracted by your fighting. So, uh, cut it out. Please. I'm gonna head out too. Good luck with your exams today, guys.
Sorry about all that. Really, don't let me keep you. Er, I actually did come for the study session, if the offer's still open. Oh, but I understand if you just wanted to focus on Olive, especially given their situation and what just happened. No, no, not at all. Uh, pull up a desk. I'll do what I can for you. Didn't you speak up sooner? Uh, well, it feels like walking through a minefield with those two in the room sometimes. That's... yeah. I just wanted to brush up on my geology, if you're willing. Here's an answer sheet. Sure, I can do that. I'll be swapping between you and Olive, though. Is that okay? I didn't expect anything else. I can help you with your writing class, too, if you want, Olive. Oh, uh, and history, if either of you need that. I'll take anything you're willing to give. Thanks. I can't really offer you much in return, though. No problem. I'm just glad to have someone to bounce questions off. Sounds like we have a plan, then. Since I already have the worksheet in front of me, let's start with you, Darren.
Not the right floor, not even the right building. You two forget where the writing club meets? Why are you still here if not for the meeting? The semester is over. Is it really just a matter of spite? Correct again. You're just a natural born intellect, aren't you? That's not what happened at all. I was going to go today, really. And... I got ambushed. I was actually heading over when Heather intercepted me and dragged me here instead. Was this really a more appealing invitation than the club? No. I mean she literally dragged me. By the arm. <laughs> I will never understand you. And that's such a disappointment. I was really hoping I'd have a fellow agent in chaos before Millie dug her claws into you. What part of me screamed agent of chaos to you exactly? Pickings are slim nowadays. You take what you can get. As should be evident by now. Wait a sec. I don't have anything against Millie at all. Excuse me? You flake even more than I do, which is quite the accomplishment. That's... something else entirely. You've got the wrong idea. And all you're doing is interrupting my alone time. Out. Both of you. What's up? I just wanted to apologize for how this entire thing went down, I guess. I know you have personal stakes in this now, too. You and Heather painted a pretty complete picture of what happened. I don't blame you. I'm so glad to hear that. You wouldn't believe. If she showed up on campus just to spite Millie, how did she plan to do that? If you didn't show up, I doubt anyone would have ever even found out. That's... huh. Well, whatever her plan was, it's not happening now. Guess not. Get going. Tell Millie sorry for me too, if you don't mind. 
I'll try to be better about showing up from now on. I promise. Hmm? Yeah, gotcha. I'm sure she'll understand. See you around. Is there any way? Sorry, for the last time, no. You'll have to look online like everyone else. I can't help you here. Ugh. What'd she say? Just be patient. Ugh. Chuta, I'm sorry, I thought it was worth a shot. It was. What? Why? Well... <laughs> you don't usually make too many mistakes at work, but the last couple days you've been distracted. I thought if I was able to get them to hurry things along, I could help ease your mind a bit. Looks like we had the same idea, though. I was too slow on the draw. <laughs> it's fine. It didn't work out for us in the end. isn't going to get us anywhere. How about we head to the park for some fresh air? It's been a long time since I've been, and it's a lovely little area. I think that's a wonderful idea. Oh, if... if I'm invited, of course. Uh, after all you've done for us? Of course. Well, we don't know if they've passed yet. I don't know. I think I'll go home and check the site from there. Oh, don't be like that. Let's go get your mind off of things.
looks nicer. It is. Oh, to be young again. Since I hit 40, it's like the wind just goes right through me. Do you want to head back? We can hang out at the bell house or something. Oh, it's my day off. I don't even want to think about work today. Let alone spend even more time there. I'll be fine once I get the blood flowing. as a kid. Ollie did too. Did you live around here? Not really. We live on the other side of the bridge. I only came here a couple of times actually, but it's so much better than the one we had by our house. Mom and I would come here during her lunch breaks, so I got sick of it pretty quick. Oh, Ollie, don't be like that. You loved coming here. When I was like six? Yeah. Not so much a 14. Is it... Buy one drink, get one free. Anyhow, tell me more about yourself, Millie. What are you studying? about how much you've improved as a writer. And that you should publish your work sometime. Huh? No, that's a terrible idea. I'm just teasing. But, got you to look up from your phone for a minute. It's... This is it. Is it up? Did you pass?
no matter what it is. Ollie, we're so, so, so incredibly proud of you. I passed. You passed? I passed. Oh, Olive! Congratulations! Morning, Olive. Come right in. Oh, hey. Are you... <sighs> Sorry, no, I'm fine. You came a little bit earlier than I expected. Just, just give me a second, I'll be right out. Sure, uh, I can wait here. Or you could wait in our perfectly comfortable kitchen. I could do that. Wait, before you go in, I forget. Here's your notebooks. Oh, right. Uh, thank you, Olive. I hope they came in handy. <laughs> More than you know. I think they might be the only reason I passed. You really have to stop downplaying your own accomplishments. Puzzle piece. 
piece falls into place. Think you could sneak a fast one by me, huh? <laughs> what are you on about now? I'm solving the greatest mystery of our time. Why on earth would Olive here be in a writing class over the much cooler option? The only reason someone would choose your club over mine is because of a crush. You two are dating! Don't even try! I'm on to you, sneaking around, whispering to each other. It was obvious. Yep, you got us! Really, really? You literally just said so. What were you expecting to hear? Happy? Now can you please leave us be? We have a date. <sighs> Fine. I know when I'm not wanted. You two lovebirds have fun. But I'm telling Mike you're ditching the family brunch for your new sweet time. <laughs> You wouldn't. Try me! Why wouldn't I? The guilt eating you up inside? Because I haven't told him yet. I'll be right back, okay? Uh, okay. So, uh, Haley not up yet? Still sleeping. E even through all this commotion? Super heavy sleeper. So when'd it happen? What? Like, you know, you two? Oh, uh, yesterday. off for the past while is all. Guess you got her good. To be honest, I... Well, we set up this whole brunch to try and get her to cheer up a bit, but maybe this is better. Love is the worst, huh? Oh, hey. 
Hey, you... look great. Thank you. You look pretty sharp yourself. Ah. Just get going already. Hey, so, what was that? Oh my god, I'm, I... <sighs> After our talk last night, I told Caprice I was gonna go on a walk today instead of the brunch, but she kept insisting, and then I... Really didn't have a good excuse, and she said she'd bring the whole family so we can all go on a walk. And I really can't deal with more talks about how great the wedding is going to be and how beautiful it will all be and what a new beginning this is for everyone. And I just panicked, and I thought maybe if I said it was a date, she would give me a second to just breathe. Oh gosh, Olive, I'm I'm sorry. I have roped you into this whole thing. Okay. Can we back up, maybe? I'm so sorry. I'll call Caprice now. I, I just didn't want to... I'm not saying that. I'm... It's, um, unexpected. Sure, but I, I mean... You know, some context would really help me out here. Let's go on that walk. And we can talk? Yeah, uh, okay. A walk sounds great. Right, so, maybe we can, um, I'll, the whole dating excuse thing. That'd be a nice place to start. I've been trying to get out of this brunch for, well, since they brought it up a few days ago. Caprice won't take no for an answer. Every time I try, she keeps pulling me back in. If I say I don't want to eat breakfast, she suggests lunch. If I say I have early dinner plans, she suggests brunch. Over and over. Okay, so having a date. I just thought if she saw I was doing something positive, she wouldn't mind. Why not just say you're going out with Tanya? 
Because every time Tanya and I go out, we go to a bar. That only reignites her recruitment efforts. Going to this brunch is bad. You could say that, but then you'd be the only other person on Team Millie in the whole world. What's wrong with Caprice's family? It's... <sighs> It's not... The family brunch is supposed to be me, her, and our parents. They're getting married. Sorry, I know it shouldn't matter. They're adults and they can do whatever they want. I just wish... It's not that at all. I adore Charlie. It's just... It's just... I... I can't get into it right now. I just really need some space. I feel like ever since that announcement, I haven't been able to even think without Caprice barging in trying to fix everything with brute force and a smile. I think I get it. Are you mad? I I would I would be pretty mad. Meh. Look, the fact is, without you, I don't know what I'd be doing right now. Maybe working a second job to try and pay back my mom or whatever. The least I can do is help you get some peace of mind. You of all people deserve that. <sighs> Thank you so much, Olive. D don't mention it. Do you want to set some ground rules? Uh, I mean, we can just play it by ear. I did tell Caprice we just started dating yesterday.
good. Oh, and if they ask why I fell for you, it'll be because of a story you wrote in club that just captured my heart. Oh, which one? My totally fictional romance from the point of view of a failing student? Another cup of coffee? Oh, sure. Uh, thank you. Table three, it's in the window. Knowing if my favorite character is going to die or not, I have to check to prepare myself. What do you do if they do? Skip to the end to see if the killer gets caught. And if it ends on a cliffhanger? I return the book. Welcome to the Bell House. Hey, I'm looking for... Dad, I I'm over here. Thanks for coming out here. How's Junebug? See for yourself. Wow, thank goodness. What was wrong with her? Nothing too major. Just had a bit of buildup in the injector. You got a royal chain somewhere else, huh? Oh, yeah, I, I just didn't want to bother you. 
You never bother me. If you brought it to our place, I would have been able to catch it. Lesson learned, I guess. Dad, this is Olive. They're the student I was tutoring last semester. Olive, this is my dad. Mike's fine. Nice to meet you, Olive. Hey, nice to meet you too. Get going, Millie? Sure. Want me to drop you off at home or the shop? Uh, actually, I... Mike, I had to park around the corner. You know it says customers only, right? Jolly! I thought we'd order some food for dinner while we're here. Oh, that's a great idea. I'll ask Caprice what she'd like. Hey, Millie. We missed you at brunch. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Miss Shifton. Actually, uh, Caprice is over at our place right now. We were just going over the date, and we were thinking of moving it back a weekend. I thought we could all eat dinner together. Wanna drop Junebug off at the apartment and carpool in the truck? No thanks. So, I'm gonna head back and get some rest. It's been a long day. No, of course. It really was nice seeing you. Are you sure? If you'd like to take Junebug instead, I... Good night. order it's for three sure thing
Congratulations! You know, I always suspected it. <laughs> My gut never lies. Even if I think you could do better, Mills. You're drunk. Tipsy. Barely buzzed. Doesn't mean I'm blind. She's not wrong. I got very lucky. See? They passed the test. Second one of the year, and way more important than that other one. You mean my finals? more important than getting through college? Yep. Are you good to drive, Millie? Of course she is. Love has made her such a square, she won't even split a wine with me. Here I am celebrating her first date ever, all alone. First date? We've had several already. Olive, no we haven't... I mean, we have? I... <laughs> no need to be embarrassed. Like I said, I knew it from the start. I won't hold a grudge that you were trying to keep your new hotness a secret. Please never say that again. <laughs> I can only imagine. All those times in the writing club, staying behind just to steal a kiss from each other. God, what a couple of romantics. Tanya, please. Well, we should head out. Don't want to miss a reservation. Reservation? I thought it was all romantic and spontaneous. I wanted to take her somewhere nice, so I called around earlier. I didn't tell her until I had a place lined up. Surprise! Hey, I'm here. Haley? What are you doing here? I'm here to pick you up. Tanya texted me. I sent that earlier because I thought we'd be partying and you'd need a lift. Yep. I brought some energy drinks so you could sober up for that wedding thing late. Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay, thank you, Haley. Great to see you, actually. I'm fine, so let's go outside. Bye, Tanya. Hey, Haley. Hi! 
we really need to get going now, so... Yeah, don't want to be late. Where are you headed? Just, uh, out. There's a taxi out front if you need a lift. We can swing by your place. Actually, I'm going out with Millie today. Since when? They just invited me out a bit ago. It was a, a, a surprise. Uh-huh. So you're not going out with Caprice and them? No, sorry. Like I said, Olive actually arranged a date for... You should tell them then. Caprice is waiting for you. What, really? She's going to be late. Yep. Anyway, if you don't need the ride, I'm gonna head home. See ya. That felt... bad. Sorry. Are you having second thoughts? No, I just... I didn't think she'd wait for me. Grace? Yeah, she was really excited to go out today. I told her I wasn't sure if I would have plans, and I figured once it got late enough, she'd just... head out. Guess that's on me, though. She'd stop at nothing to try and make me participate. Well, if you want to cancel a reservation, I won't stop you. And make you come all the way out here for nothing? I appreciate the offer, but I'm not ready to just pretend it's all fine just yet. So, where's our super romantic getaway? I have some grocery shopping to do. Sounds perfect. You took a business management course? Were you a business major? How did I not know this? I wasn't not a business major. What did you think I was studying? I don't know. Culinary arts, maybe? Botany? Anything but business. Does our college offer a botany major? Well... Does it, Millie? All right, all right. Enjoy your capitalist nightmare. Believe me, after the hell that last semester put me through, I think I'll take it as a sign to switch things up. I was just trying to find a major with steady job opportunities. Gotta stack the deck in my favor somehow with all the debt hanging over my head. We can't all be artists. What makes you think I don't have debt? Sorry. Everything about you says scholarship or maybe high school valedictorian.
priests actually got valedictorian. <laughs> <laughs> but I still got salutatorian. We were neck and neck our entire high school career, but the amount of extra credit she got through club activities pushed her over first place in the end. I spent all my extra time studying just to keep up with her. Major aside, I think this is a much more sustainable selection than you had last semester. It's no wonder everything came crashing down at the end. You have to account for time to rest in your schedule too. Eh, I'll try. Thanks for looking it over with me. Howdy, it's me! Are you two on a date? <laughs> Excuse the interruption. Millie was just helping me with my schedule for next semester. <laughs> to take all the same classes and pass love notes during the teacher's lectures? How shameless. Where are you getting these ideas? That does remind me. I never did properly congratulate you for passing your finals. So, congratulations! It's really all thanks to Millie. She's a great teacher. I bet. Oh, right. Can I get some drinks to go? We would have gone to the vending machine down the way, but it's broken. Sure thing. called again we usually call it the pomodoro timer it's when you set a solid amount of time aside and write as much as you can before the timer runs out it's a good technique for just getting words written in a first draft even if they need to be edited later or to get sketches done on a page Exactly.
art club? I thought the campus was closed for winter. It is. It is! Draws without fail? Oh, yes! Good one! Really, it's more of a get together between friends. Lois and Eileen didn't even bring their sketchbooks. But it's really nice to have a reason to see each other, so we keep it up even during breaks. It's a bunch of fun. We go out on field trips, help each other study, and just have a good time. Caprice. Oh, there's more than enough room for you too, Millie. I wouldn't dream of separating you two lovebirds. We're fine, Caprice. Neither of us needs your pity. Huh? What? All have passed their classes, so it's not like they need the tutoring anymore, right? Even then, they can just study with everyone in the art club instead. What if they like the writing club? Oh, come on, Millie. You don't even like the writing club. Stop trying to read my mind and fix things that aren't a problem. I'm not. I'm just trying to be nice. Did you forget what that looks like? If wedging yourself in your club in the middle of everything is being nice, I'd really like to know what you think being insulting is. Why are you always picking a fight with me? It's like everything I say just sets you off. Why don't you try talking less? Okay, hey, uh, maybe we should... Take a minute. Whatever, I'm out of here. Just think about it, Olive. Sometimes Millie doesn't know a bad situation if it bit her in the... Are you leaving or not? Thanks for the offer, Caprice. Uh, I think I'll stick with Millie in the writing club, though. Really? Really?
for both of you. Can I get a refill? Sure. Were you only saying that thing about the writing club because you're my pretend partner? Nah. If I was, though, I'd be pretend partner of the year. Hey. Sneaking up on me? Pay more attention to your surroundings. to cryptic messages asking to meet up. I won't lead you to any secondary locations. Relax. It'd be easier to if I knew what you wanted to talk about. Oh, that. It's about Christmas. host Christmas at her house. Every single year for over 20 years, her and Caprice's family celebrate together. So, about Millie and you. the others about your fake relationship dating whatever you have going on. Obviously. 
here, I thought we were doing a pretty good job of it. Sort of. Anyway, that's not the point. Not entirely. I think I get it. You swoop in and save Millie from her overbearing best friend and clueless family, and she gets to avoid her problems. Huh? All I'm asking is you don't mess up this Christmas thing. It's not supposed to be any of my business, but Caprice has been working really hard on this. She's trying to fix things. If Millie keeps running away, nothing will improve. thing what she's doing. Does she? Yeah. She's not running away to avoid her problems. She's trying to work through things in her own way. And no one is letting her. Even you being here is proof of everything going on. I want to be that person. If she needs somewhere to go or someone to turn to during Christmas, I'm going to be there. I'm not going to ask her to go back or make up or try to make things work. I can't. I just want to help her get space to work things out on her own. Yeah, it makes sense. She's right. Whatever. I should apologize to her. It's not your fault. None of this is anyone's fault. It's just that... Millie's really been on her own lately. What you're asking me to do is... No, I get it. I hope you're doing the right thing. I hope so too. Well, things will probably work out then. Like you said, it's not anyone's fault. Everyone's doing their best. And it looks like things aren't as fake as I thought. See you. Yeah. See you.
Hey, Millie. Olive, hey! I didn't catch you at a bad time, did I? Nah. What's up? Well, it's about Christmas. a big ask. Do you have any holiday plans? I don't. No. My mom and I will be celebrating a bit early this year, so I'll be free. Sorry for making you meet me out here like this. No problem. It's not too bad out there right now. Junebug doing okay? She's just fine. Just being proactive to prevent another incident before it happens. You read my text, right? Oh, 
Oh, right. I should probably warn you. Hey, Mills. This your plus one, I assume? Glad to finally put a face to the... Wait... I know you, don't I? Hmm... Olive, right? From... Bellhop? Bell house. But yeah, that's me. Good to see you again. <laughs> Thought so. To think of shaking your hand a few weeks ago. None the wiser. You and your twist endings, huh? Ever the rider. Your keys. Just gonna give her one last checkup real quick. Won't be more than a few seconds. You're so dramatic. You should feel lucky to have such a doting dad. Sounds good to me. How about you? Perfect. I owe you one. Well, if you're offering... Come on down and visit more often, okay? The house and the garage have both felt emptier without you lately. busy uh, between finals and you know my relationship sorry i'll try and be better about it yeah i know i don't blame you or anything i just swear i could still see little seven-year-old millie around out of the corner of my eye sometimes it's a bit too early for my phantom to be haunting you I might have a problem then. He's all over the place nowadays. Out front playing in the snow, excitedly bouncing in place whenever a customer brings a red car in, playing pinball with Caprice on the old work computer whenever Charlie needed a sitter. You switched tenses. Very funny. So, what's the plan? 
are we just gonna meet up at your place this evening? You two can go on ahead if you want. I've got some business to take care of here. And I was planning to do a grocery run on the way home. Are you sure? I don't mind killing time around town if you wanted to head back together. Nah, no sense suffering out in the cold on my account. The guest room's a bit of a mess right now. I hate to ask, but are you gonna be good with the couch? Yeah, I'll be fine. Good to hear. I'll pile up a bunch of extra pillows and blankets for you at least. probably hungry by now. Make sure his bowl is topped up, would you? Probably hungry? At this hour? Dad. Love you. You two have fun. Make sure you give him the grand tour, Mills. I should have packed more economically. Ugh. Ugh, I'm such a mess right now. Stressed? No, no, I'm fine. There's just... Much family to think about. You know, full house and all. Take that for you. No, you can't. I just watched you try. The effort is appreciated, though.
missed you, buddy. Jeez, Dad hasn't even been trying to make you follow that diet, huh? Hey, you gonna introduce me? Olive, meet Mr. Mo. There's a cat under all that flab somewhere, I promise. I wanted to bring him with me when Caprice and I moved out for college, but our apartment doesn't allow pets. Looks like Dad's been spoiling him silly while I've been gone. Nice to meet you, Mr. Mo. Anyway, let's start getting settled in. Do you want to store your things in my room for now? Sorry, there's not much decoration. We're usually more on top of things. I don't mind either way. I think it's cozy. I guess that's a word for it. The weather looks like it'll be good today. You want to explore outside a bit? Dad told me to give you the grand tour, remember? Grab your coat. Sounds like a plan. So where are we headed? Just to the bridge, the one we drove over on the way here. Guess I used to come here often? We'd walk out here on the way to the convenience store sometimes. Not many other places to go around here without driving into the city. Most of the time, it was more of a matter of me bringing Mom out while Dad was at work during the day. Hey, this is a bit of a shot in the dark, but did you ever have a train set or something similar growing up? Kind of. These tracks make you nostalgic? Maybe a little. It's just something small that sprang to mind. left a few tracks and cars behind when he left. I was never allowed to play with it before then. 
But it was fun when I couldn't. It's probably still in an old cardboard box somewhere at my mom's. Ugh, sorry. Sounds like it was more of a collection than a toy for you. I think so. Yeah. For me, I just like to watch them go by. Welcome to my childhood train set. see stuff like that up close in the city, do you? Good to know that if we're ever tied on cash, I can just take your train spotting for a day. quite understood it. She always humored me when I dragged her out here, though. You must miss her a lot, huh? Yeah, I do. Actually, I remember her handwriting was so pretty. I would ask her to write my name for me over and over so I could practice it. It sounds like you were pretty similar. I don't know. I don't think I resemble her very much. If I did, I think I'd be... Uh, sorry, I don't mean to be a downer. Huh? Uh, yeah. 
lost. We should get moving before it gets too cold. Morning. Oh, morning. Didn't wake you, did I? Nah, this is about the standard for me. So, um, where should I put all this for now? Um, just put the pile by the stairs. I'll put things away later. Breakfast should be done in 40 minutes or so, give or take. Probably give. Will do. Should I wake Millie up? <laughs> if you're looking for a Christmas Day breakup, maybe. She'll make her way down eventually, don't worry. It's barely seven. I let you sleep in. Happy holidays.
Aw, morning, Mo. He's still dieting. Don't you dare. Sleep well. It was going great until a few minutes ago. You. I can't imagine it was too comfortable. It could have been worse. Honestly, it might have even been an upgrade. I think that says more about your bed than it does the couch. Probably. If you don't take your coffee black, just let me know and I can bring out some sweetener. Black works fine for me. Thank you. Sort of figured it would. You seem like the type. Having anything? We could eat together. Nah, dinner's gonna be an all day project, I fear. You two enjoy yourselves, though. <laughs> I wish you'd slow down at least a little. like a really special person. Mm -hmm. Remember when I gave you 
a tour of the apartment and you started poking around my room? It wasn't poking. Oh no, it was. Anyway, that old journal in there? It was hers. Well, uh, ours. Back when she knew what was coming, she started filling it front to back with things she wanted to say to me. Recipes, messages for every milestone you could think of, countless pages of advice. We'd fill in some pages together, with me asking questions and her answering them the best she could. That's the kind of person she was. She was so thorough about it, too. She had an answer to almost everything. Holding on to what's important, how to be there for someone, dealing with stress, what to do if dad remarries. She lost her nerves. Did she run out of time? I don't know. Maybe. Things were so easy before all this. For all of us. Sorry, I'm not ready yet. Cover for me. Well, nice to see you again. I was really excited when I heard you'd be coming over. It's good to see you too, Miss Shifton. Charlie works fine. Looks like Millie's picked out someone just as formal as she is. Speaking of which, where is she?
down here a bit. Give her a minute, okay? But It'll be fine. You wanna help me finish up some things in the kitchen in the meantime, Caprice? You sleep okay? Mike's not making you take the couch, is he? Yeah, but it was fine. I uh, just told Millie this morning it was a better sleep than my actual bed. Well, if you're sure. You and Millie doing okay? I don't hear from her much these days. Couldn't be better. Well... There's some stressful stuff going on, I guess, but... You know what I mean. I do, yeah. That's a relief to hear. She's been going through a lot, so I was thrilled when I heard she found someone. from burning the house down, it looks like. If he was gonna do that, it would have already happened. I was just stuck with setting the table. Mm. Just a joke. It smells great, Mike. As always, don't get your hopes up. I haven't been practicing much since Millie moved out. One of these days, we're going to get you to accept a compliment. If you ever figure out how, let me know. I've been trying for about 21 years now.
It's good to see you. I was worried you were going to miss the entire night. Oh, you know, just wanted to be fashionably late. Hard to pull off when you live here, though. Well, you managed it anyway. Caprice, what is... I was originally going to do it myself. I had been working on it for months, but it just wasn't where I wanted it to be, and I needed it to be perfect. Eileen's the best in the biz when it comes to painting people. I know you still miss her a lot, so I wanted to get you this. Something brand new of her. Like, a new memory of her, sort of. I thought maybe we could hang it up somewhere, together. I... I don't want you to forget your mom either, Millie. I wanted to prove that. But maybe with this, we can move on too? Ring is missing. Her wedding ring. Oh, well, that's not a big deal, I'm sure. Not a big deal? It's part of who she was. Look, I appreciate it, but I can't accept this. I'm sorry. to help with this because it was for you. People care about you, you know? I don't need your club to look after me. Well, one of them has to. Surround 
yourself with negative people and experiences and then wonder why you feel so down in the dumps. You aren't stupid. You know the club stuff isn't what this is about. I have no idea what this is about. You never try to explain anything. And when we do finally get you to open up, it's all a big contradictory mess. Forgotten. Oh, I don't want this reminder of mom because of some dumb ring! If it's so dumb, then why are we all making such a big deal about your mom having one now? How can you even say that with a straight face? What's your problem? Sorry, guess it's only dumb when it's important to me. Lesson learned. Mom and I love you. I just want you to talk to us. And I just want you both out of my life. Stay here, Olive. I, I won't. Please. It's a beautiful painting, Caprice. Thank you. All good. It's getting late. She's not back yet. I was gonna go drive and see if I can find her. She left her phone here, so I can't call. I'll go out and find her.
You think you know where she is? I have a pretty good idea, yeah. Stay safe. I will. Mind if I join you? <sighs> Todd doesn't like me drinking around him, and I just... <sighs> I really needed to get out of there. Alone? None of this is your fault. Talk to me, please. I can't do much, but I can listen at least. <laughs> what do you want to hear, Olive? More riveting tales about my dead mom? How sorry I am for being a terrible daughter? Maybe you just want to know more about why that stupid club is crumbling beneath my feet. Or is this talk about how I wrapped you, the last person who gave me any sense of normalcy, into this big, performative lie? Let's get it all out there! After all, everything is Millie's fault! She's the bad guy! Why can't she just accept things as they... Just... It's so hard. Mm. 
I know it is. You must hate me now. Just like everyone else. I don't. Do you regret spending Christmas here at least? I don't feel that way either. I just want to listen, Millie. Where do I even begin? Capri seems like a good start. She's so... I don't understand why she... She treats everything like some childish rivalry between us. I'm desperately trying to hold my life together, but does she care? It's honestly hard to tell, because it's always about Caprice. What Caprice wants. She pulls everyone around her into her orbit, whether they like it or not. So, I do my best with it. It doesn't matter how much bending or verbal acrobatics it takes, I will always try to solve things delicately. There she is. Crashing around like a bull in a china shop, undoing the peace and normalcy people build for themselves. Once she gets excited, it's as if people's feelings don't even matter. Join the art club! Who cares if there's already a perfectly good one? Let me use the booth for your club! Oh, what do you know? Looks like we're gonna be family! Do you hate her? I love her! I love Caprice. I always have. She's my sister. I hate this. Why can't everything go back to the way it was? I don't need our parents to be married for us to be family. I don't want a replacement for what I've lost. Why won't they understand that? Millie, let's head home early tomorrow. I don't feel like I have a home to go to anymore. You can stay with me if you want, for as long as you need. <gasps> I think I love you, Olive. I think I love you too.
Uh, yeah. I was hoping to get back before you will go. Foiled by Mo. Seems so. <laughs> if it's any consolation, I'd much rather still be sleeping. I take no joy in your defeat. I figured, uh, well, if we're gonna do this for real, we should get our story straight. So... to end after a semester together. Would you like to go out sometime? I'd love to. Guess that's that then. What can I say? You won me over. That story of yours was something else, you know. That last chapter was a real tearjerker. forward to see where you take it next. I'm not much of a writer, but I'll try not to disappoint.
job, huh? I hope so. Yeah, me too. Hey, come on. Don't disappear into your head. It'll be fine. Mm. Lily? Sorry, I know you're trying to help. I, I just... I don't want to get my hopes up. Not that I'm trying to be all doom and gloom, but... I'm a little tired of trying to make it perfect just in case it'll resonate this time. Whatever will happen, will happen. I'm just going to enjoy it. That'll have to be enough. Thank you three for making it. I know it's been a while, so how about we start with a simple warm-up exercise? Ugh, I barely even like stretching. Can't we do one of those word games? Yeah, Millie, I think this club is at its best when you act like a preschool teacher. How about we practice phonetics? Do you ever shut your... Cut it out or leave. We're not doing this today. Leave? And what? You'll stand here talking to an empty room? <sighs> I just want one meeting where we can try to be adults who share a common love for the craft. My heart's bleeding. Really? I'm not fighting with you, Heather. We can just move on to that exercise. Oh, you're still here. Failing another class? Okay, Heather, you can... Leave? <laughs> Again with that? Then what? You'll kick out Tanya for not respecting the art enough? You're acting real high and mighty today. Darren's already bailed. You don't have anyone left to try and impress. Actually, I am. It's 
good to be home. by the way. For what? For bringing the coffee. And even if the meeting itself wasn't great, I still... <laughs> I just mean thank you for always doing your best alongside me, too. You too, Olive. Hey, Haley. Feel free to take a seat. We're probably gonna be here a while. Um... Wallace. Right. Sorry. It's been a while. Don't worry. I get you. You could have worse timing. We were actually just talking about the Reading Club. Oh? Millie's a friend of mine, so I try to keep an ear on the ground when I can. Which means I know everything about you, obviously. Relax. It's all positive. Mostly. Though there's bound to be some bias there from Millie's point of view. Anyway, about the club? dead in the water, despite my best efforts. That seat's taken. Oh, really? By whom? 
by literally anyone else. Ooh, vicious. <laughs> I'm like Apple here, just an ordinary member of the writing club. If you're talking about the state of the thing, I think I'm entitled to listen in. Feel free to listen in, a few tables over, without the commentary. You wound me, Wally. I'm not really in the mood to listen to you brag about how much you screwed the club over. I did no such thing. My target was exclusively Millie. What the? Actually, no. I don't care. Heather's been keeping the club from closing down behind the scenes, negotiating with the people who manage the budget and stuff. Didn't think you had it in you to snitch. Yeah, well, you're constantly finding new ways to surprise me, too. If that's the case, then what the hell is the point of all this? What's your game? told you exactly why. Millie's the problem, not the club itself. Without her, there is no club. Managed just fine without her before, I seem to recall. So what? You're keeping it around as long as possible and tearing down Millie all the while? That's torture. Don't assume things, Brad. I genuinely, sincerely loved that place. I may have only been there for a semester before Millie took over, but it was the best time I had in this hellhole. All she's good at is shoving people away. I'm just trying to return the favor. For the love of... Heather, we've had this discussion. What do I have to say to convince you it was all just a matter of unfortunate timing? The popular members left, so people followed suit. The only reason I left was because of Eileen and Allison. Hmm, I wonder... Maybe you could have convinced me if it was an isolated incident. Excuse me? I remember the overachiever from before she was playing leader. The only time she'd ever skip out on a meet was when her roomie needed something. Pretty much inseparable, as far as I remember. Hey! And then I take my little break, and after I return, I met with an empty room and a rival club whose leader can't stand Millie. Weird coincidence. You don't have the right to talk about that. Like, at all. Seriously. Why do you even care about the actual club? If you're upset about your friends leaving, go get their phone numbers or whatever. Interesting advice. Have you tried passing it on to your girlfriend too? No. 
Millie wants the club to succeed because she actually cares about the writing side of things, not because it's where her old buddies chose to crash. Whatever twisted common ground you think you two have, you don't. When... If the club eventually goes under, Millie will still have people who care about her. You could have said the same if you chose to try and reach out to your friends instead of dedicating your life to spiting her for half a year. sitting around. See at least one of you losers later. I can't stand her. No kidding. Already eat. Don't believe his lies. If he tricks you even once, it'll be months before you get any peace. He looks so hungry, though. He ate. I'm wasting away. You're doing voices for him? I just need a little extra wet food to make it through the night. Olive! Sorry, buddy. Looks like she's willing to let you starve. Doctor's orders, Mo. You can't be such a pushover with him. That's why he's, medically speaking, rotund. I won't go against his diet plan. Don't worry. I will feel extremely bad about it, though. <sighs> Me too. But as his parents, we have to be strong. I'll try. his parents, huh? Sorry, was that weird to say? I just meant since we're both taking care of him and... living together and dating... jumped ahead a lot of steps before we've even... well... anything, haven't we? Sorry, ignore my earlier question, it's definitely weird. It, it's fine, I don't mind. A at all. I was just thinking it's cute. Cute? What do you mean before we're even anything, though? We have been dating for a few months. That doesn't count. I mean, like, well, we've been living together before we've even been on a date. A proper one.
Let's have a date tonight. Not that I don't want to, of course, but we don't have to do this tonight just because I brought it up. It's not just that. I want to have a date with you. I just realized I should have suggested it earlier. Hmm. Where should we go then? Probably be hard to get any last minute reservations now, huh? Not that we could afford anywhere fancy anyway. Fake dating was really the best in that regard. Your dad must have thought I loaded with all the nights out we had. Maybe we could do something here? Here? In the apartment? Are you sure you don't want to go out anywhere or? anything is that okay yeah i'd love to i just figured you'd be more into you know bigger things fake girlfriend millie's tastes are a lot more expensive than mine it's way harder to argue with someone who has plans to go out than it is to ask them to put off a cozy movie night Then, at least let me prepare dinner for us. It's finally our first date. What the readers have been waiting for. I have to set the tone for the rest of the story and all that. Oh? You're such a romantic. I think I'll take the opportunity to go get us some refreshments. See you in an hour or two? Sounds perfect.
if I still have those candles mom left. My best, Mr. Mo. What do you think? Thanks. Welcome back. Those contacts have been giving me a headache for ages. Figured now's as good a time as any to make a change, even if I look dorky. <laughs> dorky, huh? better on you I see uh, what a shame guess I'm just a dork by nature you know that's not what I mean at least I have mr. Mo he would never criticize me I assure you his meows at mealtime are not very kind I brought dessert! They're from a bakery by my dad's shop. I couldn't let you have all the fun putting our date together. You really went all out, huh? I wish I could do more. Can I take your jacket? Uh, actually, um, could you turn around? Huh? Just for a minute. I... This is all so nice and thoughtful. At least let me have this. Okay, ready. To, well, I, I just wanted to... <clears throat>
Absolutely. Amazing. Thank you for cooking. It was my pleasure. I definitely overate too. everything. Is that an attempt at small talk? Only if you want it to be. Uh -huh. Well, I don't know if I have a single word for it. It's like... At Christmas, when I saw the painting, everything that was held together like a house of cards just sort of collapsed. Everything that's happened after, you finding me, us moving in together, and now our date, it feels like... like it's building back up. What's being built back up, I mean? Stability, I guess. Ever since my mom passed, I've always felt unbalanced. Like, I was this close to falling one way or another. She was my rock. Every morning, we had breakfast together. Every night, we read together, and... And one day, she was gone. I didn't know what to do or who I was, except that I wanted to be a writer someday. So, I focused on my education. I poured all of my heart into my schoolwork, even though... Honestly, I'm just not very good at it. It's only through hours and hours of hard work and tears that I am where I am now. It's why I was drawn to you. My pathetic performance in school was a positive? No, not exactly. I just... I know what it's like to feel like everything is crashing down and, and so much of this doesn't come naturally. It's, it's a lot. But... I always had Caprice. Honestly, if you'd chosen the art club, you might have been in better hands. I never imagined you would struggle with that kind of thing. It comes in waves. It was really hard in middle school, but I managed to find a way to power through. Even when I didn't want her to, Caprice had been pushing me forward, helping me study and still find the time and energy to pursue writing. But then, the engagement happened. Exactly. I just... I felt like I had made a terrible mistake because I realized just how much I had relied on her. I love her, I do. She's my sister. Whether our parents got married or not. I wish she understood that, but she either can't or won't. But Olive, with you, I feel like... 
We're in this together. I helped you get through writing, sure, but that's all it was. All of your accomplishments are still your own. I felt like I owed every single one of my own dreams and successes to someone else. Do you... do you get what I mean? I think so. In a way, at least. I don't think... no. I know I couldn't have passed this semester without you there. But I don't think that was a bad thing. You were there when I needed you. I felt relieved when you asked me to help you get some space once in a while. It was like... I could finally return the favor in some way. supposed to help each other. That's all I mean. Your confidence and energy finding yourself. That makes me so happy. I just still want you to be able to turn to me because I love you. Not easy to have as a partner, you know. I... I need time to work things out, to think them through. I don't always know what I want. I'll wait for you. I hope you believe me when I say I love you for who you are. I love you enough to trust you'll tell me when you're ready. Dating me what you want right now? It is. I love you, Olive. I... I want to think about everything we've spoken about. But I, I at least want you to know I'm very happy spending our time together like this. I'm happy with you. I'm happy with you too. Can I, um...
We're here. Sorry for dragging you out here. I've been thinking. Well, there's an entry in Mom's journal I'd really like to share with you, and I wanted a clear head to do it. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. More sure than I've been about a lot of things recently. Page 61. When it's time to let go. I've left a lot of hopes and wishes for you in these pages, but this one is extra important. Sometimes in your life, and sometimes soon, you'll realize that things that once made you happy simply don't anymore. When moments like this happen, I want you to know it's okay to let go. In fact, you should. The longer you hold on to a long-faded feeling of joy, the more you'll start to tie it to the bad feelings it's giving you. So let it go. Let it stay a happy memory, locked in time. Revisit it whenever you want. Just remember that building new experiences on top isn't the same as burying it, okay? I wrote a response to her, here at the bottom. What you write? I could never move on from you. Oh. Did she... ever write back? I wrote it after she left us. I've read every page of this front to back hundreds of times. I could recite every word of hers by heart. In these past few days, though, I find myself revisiting this entry time and time again. I've read every word, but registered almost none of it, really.
Millie, you don't have to. It's okay, Olive. Really. Our time between the last meeting and now has been the happiest I've felt in a while. And I've been thinking a lot about if it was worth trying to keep it going. I've decided... I think I'm ready to let go. Of this, at least. It's time. I... really wanted it to work. I know. Thank you for believing till the very end. It means more than you know. I know this is the right thing to do, and I feel good about the decision right now. But I know the day of is going to be tough. I hope I can count on you then as much as I have been lately. And every day after. We should start packing things up. We can stick around a while longer if you'd like. No, no, best not to dwell. Still at it, hmm? Get lost. Relax, I won't be around long, I assure you. Did you leave something behind? In a manner of speaking, I suppose. I tried so hard to get rid of you. Hey! You were nice enough, if a bit starry-eyed at the start. As another cog in the machine, you were harmless. But then I dug out. Not for long, just half a year to change my career path and take a break from it all. Not a big deal. At least when I got back, I'd have a home to return to. Heather. And when I finally returned, all the people who made this tolerable were gone. In their place was the new queen, sitting atop her throne in her empty castle. P. 
people transferred out and followed their friends. What did you want me to do? from your hands and try to salvage it. It felt like the only thing I could do for the people who left me behind. That's what I... That's what I... Yep, and you failed. You tried so hard to... But the deck was stacked against you. And I can say that as one of the cards. But you still failed. is gone, and the second you lock those doors, all the memories and friends made here will be null and void. It will have amounted to nothing. And this place that we fought over, stressed about, made each other miserable for, it's gone. I should be angry. I should be cursing your name up and down the halls by now. Do you understand me? It would be the right thing to do. It's what you deserve for screwing up everything. Alright, I've heard enough. That's funny, because I don't think I was talking to you. And I don't remember asking you. Olive, it's fine. Heather. I was in Olive and I are dating. Do you think we don't talk? All of this. Everything. You keeping the club going despite everything. Trying to drag people away from it all the while. All that talk about the old guard that you know isn't true. None of it. None of it makes sense. Everything you say, everything you do, contradicts itself. But I get it. Grieving. You've been grieving. The world doesn't make sense, and it feels impossible to try and fix that. It's so easy to lash out. It's even easier to make up a villain in your head and focus all that frustration on them. <sighs> even if it's someone you care about. The person you want to lean on more than anyone else, but just can't. I promise you, you're entirely off base there. Trust me, I'm aware. <sighs> My point being, I guess, is that, well, I'm not a very interesting antagonist, and you're a pretty boring villain club both of us were stressing out about for so long is gone. It stings right now, but I'm gonna try my hardest to put it behind me the second I walk out that door. For better or worse, this dynamic we have? It's just not worth it anymore. There's no end goal to it. <sighs> I'm choosing to just this weight off my shoulders and just try to remember what fond memories I made here. I'm not going to tell you to do the same, but I highly recommend it. I... 
I am not gonna apologize for how I treated either of you. I don't care. But if you wanted to reach out later, I'll lend you an ear. I appreciate that, Heather. If it's all the same, though, I'd prefer to never see you again. <sighs> that works for me. See you around then, Millie. It's been fun. Agree to disagree. I think I finally see what you like about her. Glad to hear it. See you never. Tortilla soup for dinner tonight. How much chili powder am I adding? None whatsoever, thanks. It's Haley. Haley, been a minute. Oh, what's up? Hey, sorry if this is sudden. I've been trying not to pry. I haven't seen much of Millie since the holidays, and neither of them have talked to me about it. I know it's not technically my business, but I can't stand being in the dark about this any longer. She's fine if that's what you wanted to know. It's not really my place to talk about their home life if they haven't, though. I understand. Have you tried talking to Millie about this at all? As if she's actually spoken to me in forever. Sorry, I shouldn't be talking about her like that. Least of all to you. Forget I even called. Uh, it's okay.
just realizing how right she was. I've been giving both of them the cold shoulder for too long. Are you okay with taking a drive tonight? Thought you might appreciate an actual dinner. Uh, no chance they're already frozen over, but a couple minutes in the microwave won't hurt. Thanks. It's the least we can do after all the stress I've been causing you lately. Is Caprice going to be okay with leaving her room? I'd like to talk to both of you, if possible. Um, well, I'll go ask her directly then. Caprice isn't here. Huh? She's not here. I mean, she's not here. I don't know what part of that is open to interpretation. Well, I mean, where is she? Do you know? Why didn't you say anything? place. I thought the total lack of communication is why you came here. When have you given me a chance to tell you anything? Charlie's good. Sorry to drag you around town, Olive, but we're going to pay her a visit. Haley, would you come with? We'll talk more late. Wait, wait. Slow down a sec. Take a breath. Trying to corner her without warning won't do anyone any good right now. about Caprice, if you don't mind? I've actually been meaning to ask you about her myself. Now's as good a time as any to trade notes. Ask me about what? Oh, uh, well, just wondering how things have been. None of us have seen her for a while. How long is a while? We had a meeting right before the semester started up again, but she got up and left abruptly. 
That's the last we've heard from her. Before the semester started? So, a matter of weeks? Yeah. Hasn't called any meetings. Hell, hasn't even responded when we got together and invited her ourselves. Eileen, of all people, is getting worried at this point. I see. You know, if she's okay, figure you'd know better than any of us. I really wish that were true. Uh, she's safe, at least. I'll let you know once I hear anything past that. Okay. Make sure you look after yourself, too. Later, Mills. Has she been gone all this time? Yeah, that more or less matches up with when she left. I'm so, so sorry. I never meant to leave you alone all this time. I, I didn't realize... I didn't even give you a chance to tell me what with my behavior. I, I didn't even text. I, I'm so sorry. Hey, come on. This isn't about me. It's about you as much as anyone else. Both of us have put so much on you, and I was just off living blissful ignorance while you two were suffering alone. I can't say enough, Haley. God, Caprice. <sighs> You're here now, right? some time to get to this point. Yeah. I'll do my best to fix things the right way. That's all I ever wanted from you two. Remember that Caprice deserves a hug like this, too. I will. Of course I will.
Make yourself comfortable. Won't be a sec. Too. Been a while. Sorry about that. That's... it's okay. It's good to see you again, ma'am. I didn't know you worked at the aquarium. Been a tour guide for just over 20 years now, actually. I can tell you just about anything you need to know about the creatures of the deep, so long as I'm given a script to memorize a week or two beforehand. Wow. You must really like fish. That's always been more Caprice's thing. I actually thought about looking for another job, but it was enough for Caprice and I, and she always loved visiting. Hey, sorry. I tried to get her to join us. She said she would and join me when I left for work today. When I clocked out and told her we were leaving, she said she didn't feel up to it after all and stayed behind. She's still at the aquarium? Yeah, probably. I told her to call me when she wanted a ride back home. You should sit down. Don't worry about me. I appreciate it, though. Just something light for now. I was hoping we'd have the chance to go to a proper dinner after this. So, Mills, we're listening whenever you're ready. Go ahead. I'm here. I'm scared. been thinking about and rehearsing everything I've wanted to say all day, and the more I do, the more it all sounds silly and irrational. 
I know I'm in the wrong for a lot of things. Maybe even all of them. I think that's how I'd see it if I were in your shoes anyway. I don't think this is a right and wrong kind of situation. I guarantee I'm not going to love you any less over what you have to say. It doesn't matter if it's silly or irrational if that's how you really feel. That's all we've ever cared about. If you're ever feeling lost, always know that Dad will be there to lend you an ear. And if for whatever reason he isn't, I'm sure Charlie will be. If nothing else, please remember that you'll never be alone. Mom left all of this advice, all these instructions to me, and I've clung to every word. But there's so many questions left unanswered. I didn't know where to turn when you two weren't an option. You can always come to- No, I couldn't. Not this time. I wanted to be happy for you two. I am. But dropping the news on us out of the blue that you started dating, and letting Caprice break the news for you that you were making things official, there was never enough time to process anything. I'm sorry, Millie. That was never supposed to be how you found out. I know. Uh, I don't blame you. Or her. Not anymore. But it doesn't change the fact that it made approaching any of you about this feel impossible. How could I when the three of you were so happy? I understand. We never wanted to exclude you, sweetheart. I'm sorry we made you feel so alone. I'm glad you were able to find all of it, at least. Even if you felt that way about us, your dad and I were happy to hear you found someone you could lean on. We only started dating recently. Well, obviously. Like, after Christmas recently. Huh. Up until the last few weeks, Olive was just my escape plan whenever you or Caprice tried to pull me into some family thing. I'm sorry for lying to you, but I just desperately needed the space. I'm sorry too. I didn't want to lie to any of you, but... But you were doing right by her. It's okay, I get it. Olive's been there for me as a friend and as a partner. Without them by my side, I don't know that I'd have the courage to do this. So, I'm just gonna come out and say it. This journal is the most important thing I own. Written by the most important person in my life. It's my voice. Helping me find words when I can't find them on my own. But for as thorough as she was, she left some things incomplete. I'd like you two to help fill in the blanks, because I don't know how to do it alone. Page 53 I'm afraid of forgetting you. This was from me to her. She wrote down a response, talking about how she was afraid of the same thing, but that forgetting was okay. 
It was one of the only answers I could never really accept as it was. It's just heartbreaking beyond words. Imagining someone being okay with fading away into nothing. Your mother will never be nothing to us. I hope I don't need to tell you that. I know you mean that. I, I really do. It's just so hard to see what's happening and what it really means. There are parts of her that are gone forever. Grandma and Grandpa are gone, so there's no one around to remember her childhood. And there's the smaller things. What flowers she would grow in the garden in the back. Individual stories she'd read me. The weekends we'd all spend together. The finer details of her life are already fading away. And now, the stuff that really mattered to her, the things that defined her life, the wedding ring and how easily it was forgotten. You putting yours away, then replacing it with a new one? The photos of her, of us, slowly being taken down and replaced with newer, happier memories. I would never, ever want to get between you and your happiness, and I'm sorry for being so cold about it up until now. But it's just... Sometimes it feels like every step closer to the marriage is one step away from her. And I'm worried that once the big day comes, it'll just be all of us washing our hands of what little is left of her. I was scared of forgetting her then, when she was still around and the memories were fresh. Now I'm terrified. Oh, Mills. There's so much I can't remember about her. All the stories I want to tell you or Caprice about our time in high school, or even just small moments we shared while raising the two of you that I just can't quite manage to recall. It breaks my heart to think about all the things that are just... gone. But it's okay. She didn't leave us much, but it was enough. Even if you didn't have your journal, or I didn't have my bracelet, or we didn't have our photos, it'd be fine. All we need to remember is the love we felt for her and her us, that's who Adelaide was. Anything else is just a happy extra. That's why it's okay to forget. It's impossible for us to lose the one thing that really matters. That's what I think she meant. There's one more page I want to look at. Go ahead. Page 42. What to do if dad gets a new mom? She left it blank. I've put you through so much. I had no idea. Dad? I 
I just need you to know. No matter how we felt, Charlie and I would never do something like this if we thought your mom might not approve of it. I know how that page must look and how hard it is to believe me, but I promise you that she just ran out of time. It's not... I believe you. What? That's all I wanted to hear. I know you wouldn't lie about something like this. I needed time to grieve and go through the process of moving on. But above that, I needed to hear that from you, from both of you, that this wasn't us saying goodbye to her. Both of us think about her every single day. I know you do too. I know, I shouldn't... I know I never had any real reason to doubt you, but just... With everything moving so fast... on you too to even think i'm so sorry we understand of course we understand thank you for talking about this with us i'm sorry we weren't able to listen until now I wish Caprice could have been here for this. You should catch her up to speed. I'm sure both of you still have some things to say to each other. Are you sure that's the best idea? I don't want to ambush her. I trust you two. Just be honest with her, but gentle, and you'll be fine. It'd be unfair to have you pay entry to do something like this. Save yourself a few dollars. Here then, let me trade you. Millie, no. I'm not giving it to you. I just want you to keep it safe until I can pick it up again when we meet for dinner tonight. If you did want to read it, though, I think... I think that'd make her happy. She had some things to say to both of you, too. Sure you don't want to just take it with you? I've used mom's words when I couldn't find my own ever since she gave that journal to me.
priest needs to hear from me, though, not her. See you tonight, then. Love you. Drive safe. Call us if you need anything. Don't keep us waiting too long. Love you both, too. I'll meet you at the usual place as soon as I pick up Caprice. Sorry to keep dragging you into these things, Olive. You really make it all feel manageable. Never a problem. Let me know if I can do anything else, too. Of course. to be my favorite. I loved how they had a little smiling face on their underside. Used to be. Are they not anymore? Olive, please. I'm a grown woman. My favorite is obviously the tiger shark now. Ah, I should have guessed.
Are you okay? After so long of trying to fix everything on her own, I... I should have expected it. I... I should leave. No, you... We can't. Why? Just... Can I try talking to her first? I don't know, Olive. I just want to reach out. If you're sure... Hey... Don't. It's just me. Don't worry. I like the hair. Figured it was time for a change. It's about all I have control over anymore. Looks like the otters are staying in today. That's a shame. Yeah, it is. So what do you want? I want to be your friend. Huh? For whatever it's worth, all this time I've known both you and Millie. I wish we were better friends. I'm sorry we haven't been. Why are you of all people apologizing? I was the one who... Ugh, just... never mind. It only feels worse to hear you say that. We're only acquaintances, and that's only because you're dating my best... Because you're dating Millie. During Christmas, I was acting as Millie's partner, but... We weren't actually together then. I lied to you. Then? Meaning you're together now? Doesn't really matter if it was before the holidays or not if the end is the same, does it? No offense, Olive, but I don't want to be friends just because of that. If you think you'll help her by being our mediator, it won't. It didn't work for Haley, and we've known her for a whole lot longer than you. I... I love Millie. I want her to be happy. But I'm not talking to you because I'm trying to fix her problems. I want to talk to you as a friend. Millie loves you. Even when you're fighting, no one wants you out of their lives. Her, least of all. She just wants to talk to you. If you don't want to, that's okay. I just wanted you to know she's here. Oh. 
Okay, I'll go talk to her. Thank you, Ollie. Do you want to go alone? Nah. It'd be nice to have a friend there. For both of us. Hey, Millie. Hi, the Olive. C Caprice. Olive said you wanted to talk to me. I, I, I do. I, I. Are... are you okay? <laughs> okay? No, Mills, I'm not. I've been trying so hard to understand you, and now you want to swoop in and be the good guy? I'm not trying to... I did my best. I just wanted to show you that the marriage was going to be a good thing, to show you how happy we could be as a family. Do you know how much it hurts to have your best friend just shut you out of her life? I'm starting to. I can't understand what I'm doing wrong if you won't tell me! That's all I wanted! I'm sorry that I'm too much and too excited and too... me, but I just wanted you to be happy! Oh, Caprice, please don't say that. I'm sorry, I just... I don't want you to think that all of this is your fault. I need you to understand that what you were offering me was exactly what I didn't want. What did you want then? I needed to be sad, Caprice. I needed to be able to grieve and know that it was okay. Every single time I've brought my mom up, it's like everyone changes the subject just to cheer me up. I... I had to, Millie. I had to try to make this work for all of us. I couldn't... Our parents are so happy together. They've sacrificed so much for raising us and always putting us first. Shouldn't they be allowed to be married with us by their side as a family? We were already a family. That can't be the only reason. I... I didn't want the marriage because I was afraid of replacing the few memories I have left of my mom with yours. I'll never be able to walk into the kitchen and see my mom at the table drinking tea ever again. I'll never be able to come home and have her waiting there for me with a hug. When I realized I couldn't remember details about her anymore, I was scared. With the painting, it... It made me afraid that everyone else is forgetting her, too. It breaks my heart that I love you and Charlie so much. I'm so excited to have you in my life. I want to move forward. It hurts to do that, but I need to feel that pain. I need to accept it. You wanted to protect me from it, I know. It just made it harder for me, made it all too loud and, and too much at once. I'm so sorry I didn't have the words for this earlier. You've always been my sister, Caprice. I didn't need you to prove it.
I... I'm sorry too. to dinner tonight, all together, if you're up for it. What? Really? I mean, of course I am! Yes, absolutely! You're invited too, of course. I'll sit this one out, actually. I'm going to see if my mom wants to get dinner together. Let me know how it goes, though. If you're sure... I think it'll go a lot better than last time, which I'm... I'm sorry for, again. I'm sorry again, too. I know, it's just that I kind of started it, so... But I... Maybe you two should take a break in apologies for today. A good point. Anyway, it wasn't all bad. I got a pretty cool friend out of it all, you know? She isn't too excited when she hears how clunky the gear shift is. I don't think anyone but you would notice that kind of thing. Do you want to ride? I'm not sure. I think it'd be good if you two could have some quality time. We have all the time in the world for that. Oh, and Olive? Wedding, right? As my plus one?
Fancy seeing you here. Waiting for the others? Caprice has got her club today, so just Haley. Enjoying the quiet back at home again? It's been fine, but I have to admit I miss my old roommate a bit. I'm sure she'd be happy to visit. All you'd have to do is ask. I was talking about Mo. How's life back at the apartment, anyway? Been going okay? I wish I could say it was like I never left, but after so long, you definitely feel like a stranger in your own home sometimes. Yours got fogged up too, don't even pretend otherwise. going to be okay. Finally having everyone on the same page has done a lot, but we still have some lingering awkwardness to get through. That's good to hear. I've been worried. I know it was your idea to dissolve it. But the club was a pretty recent wound, so... It was for the best for everyone involved. I wouldn't call it a wound at all. Well, that's what you really feel. I do. Honestly, the conversation with Heather made the decision worth it. Both of us finally said a lot of things we should have said a long time ago. Maybe she can finally devote energy to being happy. I hope she can. Yeah, I hope so too. Hey, sorry if this is weird or forward to say. But? But I'm really happy to see things working out for you again. You deserve it. I think she would have liked you. Huh? Who? Mom. Yeah? What makes you think that? Mm, a hunch. Do you want to ride home today? I'd love to. But I've got a couple small errands to run. I wouldn't want you to ferry me around. We should make some plans to get together for the weekend then. I haven't exactly been the most romantic the last few days. You've been fine. Better than fine. Just in love. I'm really quite awful, you know. Oh yeah, <laughs> the worst. Well, every good story does need an antagonist, after all. Oh, look at the lovebirds. They can't keep their hands off each other. What do you want, Caprice? Two things. One, to brag about how I am, once again, the ultimate matchmaker. What? You had absolutely nothing to do with... And two, to ask you two where you think you're going. 
Um, home was the plan as soon as Haley showed up. Quick grocery run and then home for me, too. And how exactly do you expect the art club to function without its co lead and her partner in crime? Turns out I'm part of the art club, as of ten minutes ago. I appreciate the gesture, but I'm not much of an artist, I'm afraid. Broad spectrum, creative writing falls under the umbrella easy peasy. Well, culinary arts. She pulled the same thing on me if it makes you feel better. I figured it was something like that, yeah. It's sweet of you, Caprice, really, but you don't have to. Millie. If you're gonna let me into your family, then at least let me share mine with you, too. Please? Meet you there. Okay! Take your time. Come on, Haley. We gotta let the others know. Hold on, I... Ugh. <sighs> There's really no stopping her when she gets an idea in her head. It's one of my favorite things about her. Yeah, same. Haley, you're taking forever! Better get going. See you in a few. Yeah, see you soon. So, ready to go? Ready as I'll ever be. The weather's warming finally. Do you want to walk with me? It feels like it's been a while since I've seen us really smile. I'm glad to have you here.
lights embrace To greater love, to brighter days The cold is harsh, but I don't care I'll take your worries with warmth to spare We're almost there, we'll be just fine Home's right over the horizon line Let's try for color creases tears and rips and stains are signs of love and memories made i may slow down your march ahead or need a sec to catch your breath but i'm not worried we'll both be on time to be late.
think. It's perfect! Really? What do you mean, really? It's a nice small reminder, but it still feels like me. minutes, if that's okay. Let Haley know I won't be long. Perfectly. Don't change a thing. 